Good morning, good people. How is you? How are you? How you been? It is Sunday morning, and that means it is time for the Get Right Radio Show on the Good News Radio Station. I'm Kelvin Unique. And I'm Christopher Armani. Eric said he died this morning. Do you believe him? Um, sure. Survey says Chris does not believe Eric died this morning. I mean, I have asthma, so I don't not believe it. No, I don't have asthma. Yeah. Thank God, it's uh, it's I, very, yeah, it's crippling sometimes. What does crippling mean? The crippling, like what is like like to to be like stuck to not be able to move. To, so crippled. I wouldn't say crippled because that's that's derogatory. I think. But is that not? I'm trying to understand what it means. Is crippling, like mean? to stop you from doing something, like to hinder. Well, you isn't from that doing the same thing? thing? Well, I think say someone's crippled is derogatory, but like saying that this is crippling to how my how somebody to my, I th- I th- so wait if you're in a wheelchair and you're crippled, how does that? Make- I think you say you're this. You don't say disabled anymore. I, ah, what do you? say? How the hell can you crippled say, um, be this? this you, I, don't I don't know if you it. say handicapped derogatory because crippled is derogatory. Hey Siri, please define crippled. Just because you it's not as a noun, it means a slight objection or criticism. Oh, horrible? yeah. No, define crippled. As an adjective, it means of a person unable to walk or move properly, disabled. Same shit. No, this is derogatory. Like, call somebody a midget. I don't get. That's derogatory. Call somebody a Negro. But this, what is define midget? A midget is. Chris, we're not about to I'm define asking a, a qu- midget. I'm asking a question. Define midget. A midget is something It refers to a little person or a small person. I'm just confused on like how many of these words are really derogatory. Like why I don't because get Because people take offense to certain things because they were using the So if you were in a wheelchair and you were paralyzed. Don't call me cripple. So what the hell am I supposed to call you? Paralyzed? No, yeah, you can call me paralyzed. So I'm just supposed to say, Oh yeah, that's Kelvin, he's paralyzed. Yes. That's so don't exactly. Say, hey. That's exactly what you say. So don't say. Hey, oh, hey, there's Kelvin. He's, he's paralyzed. No, don't call me a cripple. I don't believe that. Let's is. say hi. This is Chris. He's a nigger. <laughs> that's so different. <laughs> that's so different. That's not different. Next person I meet in the wheelchair, I'm going to ask like, is that derogatory? Please, because I really feel like they do. I don't think so, it is. What? How was your week? My week has been long. Like, I wasn't Chris. You, I. Woke up Tuesday morning, thought it was a regular day, and minding my business, thought I was going to be just chilling for the rest of the week because my boss has been was going to be in New York doing a lot of promo stuff and tour stuff, right, for the radio show. If you're not listening on Real 92.3, every single 8 o'clock in the morning, every single 8 o'clock in the morning, at 8 in the morning, 8 to like 10, make sure you're listening to Pyro, I mean Real 92.3, shout out to Los Angeles. But I went to New York um, on Tuesday after getting a random phone call um, from my boss and told me I need to be out there. And I thought I was going to be out there for a day or two. Chris, I was out there for five days. What did you have to do? We did a string of promotional tours. So we stopped around a couple markets over there on the uh, East Coast. So shout out to like um, Power 105.1 in New York. Shout out to Philly. I don't know your affiliate stations. Shout out to everybody in New Jersey. We rolled past my my mama's whole town, like Atlantic City. We weren't going to go in because it's a little ghetto. But what we did, did we stopped at uh, Max's in Philly and got Philly cheesesteak. And it was there that I met Lavender Kenny, which is his Instagram name, a.k.a. the Michael Jackson of Philadelphia. He's trash. I saw the video. Chris, you don't understand his artistry. And I take it you didn't go to Chicken Cone. No, I didn't go to and Chicken Cone. You were Cone. in New York for five days, you just said? Yeah, but I only the only places I was in New York were um, t- Times Square area, because that's where our hotel was, in Manhattan. So you I didn't, even and I, know I, I didn't, the I did not, is? I did not go to, I only went to Tribeca, and I went to maybe like the Hudson area, and I was in Times Square. If I was Square. Baltimore, you would have got it. Who the fuck is no? If you're Baltimore, I wouldn't have got it. Right? No, I wouldn't. I was at work the whole time. I didn't even. You I worked wanted, though. I was with my boss. We were um, networking. Went out a couple times. A lot of times. A hell, of a lot of times. NDAs are important. 
Okay. I had a ball. That's all I'm going to say is I had a ball. And one thing I will say that someone told me in looking at it, I had a really good spirit and that I need to just keep being me and don't change because I have a good aura. And that really made my trip. You know who this person is, Chris. And you don't like her. I don't know why. I don't like her? Yeah, you don't think she's funny. Oh, I won't say her name. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, was that it? Uh, then <clears throat> what else did I do this week? Oh, I wanted I wanted to say this to Eric got here because you remember last week I told me about the dating app. Mm-hmm. I was on Tinder in black. Okay, but should I save this story or keep it or say Eric? Could, should, yeah, he could replay the show. I yeah, he could replay the show because y'all told me to download it for a week and see how it goes. Black, I did not get one match in three days, so I deleted it. <laughs> Not a single swipe right, but um, on Tinder I still have Tinder, and it's cool. It's uh, it's not. It, I don't get the hype. I've never got one match on Tinder before. Really? Not one. I just think it's so weird. I got a couple matches, but I'm like, I don't really. Black. I've gotten a few, but not like a lot. I probably said like maybe five or seven at the most, but only one of the people I actually like hung out with. Yeah. But other than that. It would just be texting, and that was, and then that died down, and I just stopped. Yeah, I don't. So I think after this week, we'll see if I continue with these apps. Mm. <sighs> what are you looking for with these apps? Companionship. Um, I don't know. I I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship or not. I was thinking about that now. Chris, I probably am too running around and too everywhere for a relationship. Why do you act like you are just the busiest nigga in Los Angeles? You are I not. I do feel like I'm the busiest You're nigga. You're not. Stop. I really, stop honestly, it. truly do. Please stop. I feel like I. it's not so much that I'm that busy. It's, it's that much I don't have the time to devote to Kelvin, you do. Things. You really How? act like you are the most workingest nigga in I LA. I am. You're not. Yes, I am. I don't think you understand. Like, I'm still a little... You're going to call me a crackhead, but I'm still a little high from last night, but I understand. I, Chris, I drunk and was high so much this week. It don't make sense. I am on, I'm I'm going to AA. You should. Like Go this to EA. Enti- EA, Ed- Edibles. Edibles Anonymous. Yeah. I love them. I have some, I know, I have some of my bag. you need to actually admit to I have to some it. of my bag right now. I bet. And you need to just admit to it. You like getting high. I mean, it's. Just admit it. Being high is not bad, but I've been. But I've you been, love getting I, high. I don't love getting high. You get it's high like, every single weekend. I not every single weekend. Maybe every other. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah, but yeah, I definitely do enjoy my edibles. I'm gonna give you one. I'm not. I'm never gonna take one. I feel like everybody should at least try it once. Just not like crack, because that's as much as you take the shit. It got to be crack. Oh, I take it on the weekends only. That's what and I know do. people do. <laughs> crack is not. Crack is literally their whole life revolve around. It's just like people that smoke your whole every life day. around. It's like people that smoke that. every day. If you didn't have to work every day, I feel like you would take an edible. Every oh day. no, I wouldn't take an edible every day. I don't believe you. Mm-hmm. I don't believe you. Mm-hmm. Speaking of apps, you want to talk about an app? Another app? <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> If you're a listener to the Get Right Radio Show, you have heard in the past about a certain somebody who really, 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 really tried to move into my life after finding out like they were homeless. Even on this show, after they revealed they had a child, Chris, do you remember that? Mm-hmm. What was your What was your initial reaction? Because me and uh, Titi were just talking about this, like people's reaction when they said, "Oh yeah, I have a child." What was my initial reaction when he said it? Yeah, I didn't believe it. I was shocked, and I don't think anybody still believes it. I mean, as bogus as this may sound, I didn't believe it because of his orientation. Yeah. So I didn't know, like, I just, I don't know, I just didn't know. My nephew wants me to shout him out. He's listening right now. Shout out to my nephew, Channing. Hey, shout out to Channing. Pew, 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 pew. I got to play him like that. He's only five. I don't know why he's listening. <laughs> shout out to the youngest listener. Had to see what Uncle doing. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, we have something in um. Who is this? The baddest B said Kelvin likes being high. Why else take an edible? 
Chris took a shot. He'll take it edible. I think that I actually think that's Eric. I'm assuming so. I actually think that's Eric. So if you listen to the radio show normally, you know, for my birthday, we had this big old Thanksgiving. Uh, I had a the studio was filled with my friends and stuff, right? So Chris got a chance to meet somebody that I was being nice to. Literally being nice to invited over to for Thanksgiving because they didn't have any family nor a home that we found later on to <laughs> to have Thanksgiving dinner. So I invited this person over and this person just thought I was going to take them into my home and just make them whoever they thought they were going to be. I don't know if they saw the Airbnb and thought it was mine. I don't know <laughs> if they was like, damn, this is the life, you know, that's, but that's not happening. So... Long story short, when it was cut off, they said I only wanted one thing from them, and that's not what I wanted. They forced that upon me, and I didn't even want it then. But they somehow found themselves in my brother's DMs. Brian. Yes. Shooting their shot. Should I read the text messages? Yeah, I thought that's what she was going to do. I have two sides to this At the when you're done with the story. You got two sides? Yeah. Because okay. it's bogus, then again, it's not. On whose point? On his. Oh. How is it not bogus? I'll say it when, after you read the message, I'll say it. I gotta find it. Because I've been in a situation like that. With your siblings? No, so no, 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 no. Was not the good. That's, that's what he said. My brother says, yo. He said, what you trying to do? Wait, hold on. Before you read. On a dating app, don't you have to match together? No, not on these. You could literally just slide in somebody's DMs. Oh. Like, if you like their profile, you slide into DMs. He said, bro, you know me. I'm Kelvin, brother. He said, oh, shit, that is you. I really couldn't tell. I didn't look at your pic like that. He said, yeah, it's me. This nigga, <laughs> does that make a difference? We grown. Two hours later. No, actually, yeah, two hours later. Man, I'm trying to get at you. Let's be clear. Kelvin only wanted to fu- Ch- cover your ear, Channing. Kelvin only wanted the F U C K and didn't like me in that way. It was all a front, but it's cool. I get it. Brian said, "Yeah, I'm good, bro." He said, "Cool." The audacity of you to try to holler at my brother and be like, "We grown." But Kelvin, no, that is some slimy ass s l u t a s s s h i t. I don't think it is. Censor myself for the baby. I don't know. It's it's fifty fifty for me. Just because. Go ahead. It, it, y'all didn't go. Why. Y'all nothing happened. Nothing happened. No. So why? If, if if it was a chick I was dating and it didn't go anywhere and she had a sister who wanted me, why can I not talk to her? But the sister don't want you. Hypothetically, if the sister wanted me and slid in my DMs, like if the if the if it was different, the, why, what, the, what's the issue? The, you would. She would have to slide in your DMs. So if that happened, she would have to slide in your DMs, right? Right, right. right. They if slid happened, in my brother's DMs, which is different. If my brother was slid in DMs, that's a different thing. No, no, no. Because we would have talked about like, oh, okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, I'm saying if, if if I were you, like if the situation was me. I don't see. I just don't get it. I don't no. see what the issue would be. No, it's inappropriate. What's What's wrong about it? We don't share. Me, and my brother don't share. Nothing happened. So, if we talk, if you claim we talked, and you gonna talk shit about me? No, I don't get it. Nothing happened. Like I don't see the problem. Mm-mm. So you can never do that. No, I don't know. I actually don't talk know. to Brown a lot of times. Like, do you know this person? How you know this person? Okay. I just don't think it matters. Like, why does it? Why does it matter if nothing happened? Well, also, this nigga's a bum. Okay. Now, if they had something going for themselves, maybe. Maybe. If they had something going for themselves, I'd be like, you know what? They actually a good dude. Go ahead. Be you. Be blessed. I'll give it a blessing. But they are a bum. If we can't gain nothing from this, why are we in this? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> No. I don't know. I just didn't. I just. I don't know. That's just me. I could be tripping. I could be messed up or bogus or whatever. I just don't see the issue. No, I just. No, I also. I just. Just. I don't. Mm-mm. I don't know. It's just weird to me. I can't. Mm. My well, I don't so get good. what's weird about it. 
My brother's so hood. Maybe a friend that's different. But my brother? So just because it's your brother makes a yes, difference? Yes. We have the same blood. Y'all have half of the same blood. Y'all we only have the have same the mom. Same blood. Y'all only had the same mom. I know, but it's still the same blood. Y'all just the same nut. That's it. And that's what he wants. So that's that's inappropriate. I didn't want to hear that. But it's the same thing. Anyway. <sighs> my week was fine. Um, I didn't even... All I remember yesterday, I went to a barbecue and was on grill duty. How did that happen? Because you invited me to this um, housewarming. Yeah, housewarming. It was a housewarming, and it was it was the view was nice, wonderful view. I mean, you came at seven, and everybody was like in clicks. What time does thing start? Two. Well, my plane landed at four. I know. I'm just saying you landed. You came at seven, and they told me bring a cooler. Like, and we like didn't like, like the thing wasn't over. She could gauge how over it was when. She, I mean, she she said bring it, so I didn't. I don't know. I was just doing what she said. She told me to tell you to bring it. But yeah, ended up on grill duty because I was joking with her and was like, "Oh, you need me on the grill?" Because she said she didn't have nobody to grill. I guess she took that as a "Oh, nigga, you're grilling." And yeah, but after I told her I've only grilled once in my no twice in my life, she didn't care and was like, "You you get on the grill." That's how I ended up on the grill. And I must say, my um, veggie burgers were just a little hard on the outside, but that's what happens when you cook veggie burgers for the first time. You don't really know how to do it. But they were amazing. No one. I they were know. so good. They were dripping pink. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. What What is that? What is It's like beets. Beets? Yes. Is beets inside of the veggie burger? Yeah. That sounds trash. It's so good. And every woman I was there was just absolutely fine, and all of them were from D.C., so I think I need to move to D.C. Well, did you talk to any of them? Yeah, there was a few that I was talking to. None, I mean, none that I was trying to, like, get on, because, like, they don't live here. They are all visiting? Yeah, literally everybody that was there flew in, besides, like, ten people. They flew in for that? Mm-hmm. If you would have came at two, you would have actually saw how fun it was. I had a good time. I got there. Everybody you came at there. seven. Everybody's in their little clicks. Chris was laid out on the lawn chair. I was tired. I was grilling since two. I was like, hey, y'all. Uh, who is this? What's going on? That was my week. Now, uh, I don't know how late Eric is about to be, but. No. Um, what was I about to say? This week. Have you ever been to New York? Mm-hmm. I really wanted to go to, like. The bur- the boroughs. I did not get to go to Brooklyn, the Bronx, Harlem, none of that. And I was real mad about that. When you went, did you go to any of those? I just I was in Brooklyn. You was in Brooklyn the whole time. Mm-hmm. Did you like it? Um, I didn't. Ex- I didn't get to like explore. It was for um Thanksgiving that when I went. Okay. So I didn't like go do. The only thing we did, we went to a the Nets versus the Lakers game, mm-hmm. and that was it. See, that I, I remember. I got to explore, but I didn't get to. I didn't leave the Times Square area too much or the Tribeca area because I wanted to be close. And plus we know fancy fancy shit. But oh I'm so I'm sorry people out there listening. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. That was so rude and so disrespectful. I am jet lagged. I did not go to sleep until like five, six every morning. And it was not because I was out just partying. That because is why because that's all I was that's in the bed. All you sometimes. said you just did was party. But you, like my not one body time you worked. Because the work will come out next week, and I don't want to, like, I can't give out, like, actually, one came on the radio station this morning, Wendy Williams. We did Wendy Williams in New York, which was amazing. She looks very high. I don't. <laughs> she looks very drugged. I don't think she's drugged. She looks it. I think that she's just in her, in her, in her, in her thing. Did you see the picture that she, that, I think it was the shade room that posted it, or maybe it was her, I can't remember. Well, she's been posting a lot. I think she, she's just having a hot girl summer. I don't think she was She's high. She's having though. a high girl summer. So the interview that we did with Wendy Williams came out this morning on radio, and you can catch the full interview tomorrow. It's literally one of my favorite interviews in the world, and I got to meet the queen of all media, and she's everything I thought she was going to be. She's literally everything I thought she was going to be. What's going on, everybody? Don't I'm come in the middle of the, the show <laughs> and try to introduce to the, the show. I'm not introducing the show. I'm introducing myself and my presence. So talk to me. How was Auntie Wendy? Auntie Wendy is literally everything you want her to be. Oh, that's she's exciting. shady. She's nice. Okay. 
You can tell that she's one of those aunties that's mean to you if she likes you. Mm-hmm. She's hot. It ain't mean to you if she doesn't. Okay. But you can tell the different mean. Got it. It's, it's Will you really, stop trying to put her back on drugs? It's really she funny. is back on drugs. No, she's not. Have she's we all not seen these pictures? She looks drunk, not high. No, she's right, high. She's, she's, she's having a good time. She looks very neat. She's having a good time. Oh my god! It's funny because like she, Jason, in one of the clips, she, he was like, "Yeah, this is Kelvin back there. He produces the show. He loves you. Um, a lot of people like I revere for you and stuff like that." Where is he at? Because I said, "Oh, I'm not gonna look over there." How come he's been so quiet? He's like, "Cause he's here." I was like, "No, because they're doing interviews." Just like, well, can you tell him? <laughs> not to take pictures and ask for selfies. Grow up, Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> she told me to grow up and I didn't even do anything. Oh my god! I and afterwards, it. she was like, "Yeah, uh huh, you all are doing things, uh huh." Mm-hmm. Then I was like, "Can you uh, do this?" She's like, "Don't tell me what to do. I'll do. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm the queen." And she gave me a hug. <laughs> I don't know, but Wendy is everything you want her to be. She's such a professional. She's actually so ghetto. She was eating a sandwich <laughs> during the whole interview. So if you listen to the interview, you hear like. She has her hot sauce. She has her sandwich, okay. tomato soup. What kind of sandwich like, was it? I don't. She said it when she came in, but I didn't really catch it. Got it. But she was definitely eating that. So if you listen to it this morning, but you can check it out tomorrow. I'm so envious. I going off to new, Chris has so many <laughs> this face. <I> don't <laughs> Chris's face. I don't understand. I, I just what is she, <clears throat> what is she the queen of? Daytime, all media. Well, she is the queen of all media. Literally all media. She so is radio. Television, radio. Yep, radio. she's in the radio hall of fame. And when this talk show is over, she will go in television hall of fame. We will never forget Wendy. Absolutely not. Our radio show was fucking everything. She's had some of the greatest, Which, most controversial radio interviews show? ever. The, the Wendy, Wendy Williams, Williams experience, yeah. and then Wendy Williams show. And then she has so many. I know she has like a television show. I didn't know she had a. What's she the, started on radio. Mm-hmm. She's on radio for like thirty years. She's been doing radio thirty since years. College. Thirty years. No, really? Really? Yeah. Syndicated? Yeah. Yes. yes. I've never heard of her She was on WBLS, well, for New York. I don't... That's... I, yeah. Yeah, I'm still learning radio across the board, but, like, WBLS was huge in New York, and she was just, like, you have now, to... Now, was she just big in New York? Or? No. no, no, no. She... Because there's a... I did all the research I did. She started off in the Virgin Islands, and she had to get to New York, then she got fired from the New York because she was saucy, and then she went to Philly and came <laughs> back syndicated through Philly and then she came back to New York and became the queen of radio and she was syndicated she was, then they moved to her VH1 show the Wendy Williams Experience which was a, kind of like opening for the Wendy Williams show it's a lot you have to listen to some of her interviews the, with, like the, one with Whitney Houston the Whitney Jesus Christ uh, that's what I told her that's, that's my favorite interview Mariah Carey the fact that you have not heard these interviews I promise I haven't I Whitney, just thought, I just Whitney you're, not gonna, you're not gonna talk to me like I'm your child. My mother talks to me. My mother doesn't talk to me like that. Wait, who said that? Wendy, Wendy said that to Wendy. Yeah, Wendy has had some of the most controversial interviews on radio ever, ever. because of the shit she asked. Yeah. Yes. What is? What did she ask Wendy? For she was. Every, are you on drugs? <laughs> she asked her that. Yes. yes. <laughs> Wendy you gotta listen to the queen of all media yes. because she asks what other people are afraid to ask. She does not play the friend card. She asks everything you as a listener wants. So if you think Whitney's cracked out, Wendy's gonna be like, "Hmm, you look cracked out. Are you doing crack?" Like, wow, that is why she's so fucking big. Like, Wendy so she's is an icon because she asks rude questions. Not rude, no, but the not questions rude. that everyone and not just, thinks. And not just she was really transparent, just how she is now. Talking about her weight loss, her surgery, her baby. She's just always been the same Wendy. So she was mm-hmm. more so not like the people that just read the script, but she literally just talks about life and the crazy things that's going on with her. Yeah. She, and she pioneered that. She's my favorite. Okay. She is my If she the favorite. queen, then okay. She is like the goat of radio, in my opinion. Who do you think? I don't. I don't know who the queen of radio would be. I did. I just didn't know Wendy. Ain't no motherfucking Cheryl queen. Strawberry. Ain't nobody who? think about Cheryl Strawberry and her strawberry letter. Oh yeah, no one. It, no one is at all. I can't stand uh, Cheryl or Sh- her name is Shirley. Oh, is it well, Shirley Strawberry? That well, that's how you know. Well, we can't even say her name right. Hi, Charlie. Well, hey, Charlie. Um, how was your week, Eric? Uh oh! Before you go, he was high. Oh, I heard. I okay. commented. All oh, right, you did. Right, right. Um, I just want to make sure you know. Yeah, Eric I, saw me on a dating app. I did, and then I wrote him because the bio gave it away. There are three versions to every story: my side, your side, and the Lifetime movie version. Mm-hmm. I was like, which app was this? Fucking jacked, and that threw me because I'm like, is this a thing? Like, are people really saying this across the board? So you have it on all of your dating apps? Yes, I do. And then I scrolled and I saw, yes, I'm tall. Yes, I'm dark skin. Yes, I wear glasses. And I'm like, this is Kelvin. That is me. They don't show the picture. It shows like neck down, and it's like boxer pictures. 
So like this you can see his arms one. and his finger tattoos, but I don't know Kelvin's body. So I was just like the caption. I'm thinking this is like a song quote that I missed in time, and I'm just like, why do people keep saying this? It's not good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then I realized it's Kelvin. Wow. So you have your body as your bio, in one, as in both, because it's not your face. I'm None of them on are Jack. your face I on do. Tinder and on Black that I delete after two days. Yes. Oh, so no luck. Tinder kind of black trash. I don't know if it's the environment because there's not a lot of black people in L.A. or if it's the bio, because that bio is it's really the bio. The bio is trash. Yeah, that's not good. If they love me, they love me for my corniness. How does that work on Jack? How long has that been up? Well, it works great. Does has this been your bio like, ever since you moved out here? I hope not. No, Mm-mm. I used to not even like put nothing in the bio. You should go back to not putting anything. In the bio. <laughs> wow! Wow! No, I think this works. I think this works. It does. I don't think I it really does. I think it works. That's I why. Really. That's why it didn't work on blood. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I I want you to stop. But you know, I can't really tell you what to do. Um, I'm about to delete all of them. Yeah, spare me the lies. So, um. <laughs> My week has been mm, good creatively. I've been taking dance classes back to back, which has been fun. Aaliyah Janelle's great. I need to find another choreographer as well, so that way I don't become complacent. Um, my knees are really banged up. I don't know why I'm wearing shorts. I am really confident. Uh, <sighs> sad moment of vulnerability. I don't work at the shade room. What, what, what happened? What do you mean? They let me go. What Why? Because, okay, so I'm going to try and keep What this, the fuck happened? I'm going to keep this as diplomatic as I can. Okay, because um, I'm ready. So basically. Fuck it, <laughs> Fuck Timmy. Basically, they told fuck me Timmy. some excuse about my position is a lot for the managing editors to handle. As an outside contractor, they have a hard time checking my work and, and, um, like assigning me stories and stuff with all that they're planning in the future is just like a burden on them. What? My position. Yeah. I'm the only one in that position. They it didn't make sense when I first heard it. They called her or, or they called me. Okay. Um and they were just like, Yeah, you know, it just doesn't you know, we really appreciate the content you gave. The roommates loved it, but we just it's a, it's kind of like a burden on our managing editors and I was just like I definitely signed the NDA, but I'm going to tell this fucking story um, because it's bullshit. So I don't, I don't get it. I'm just I don't fuck get it either. That I didn't get it when I got shit. off the phone. Did you ask any questions or you just was like, I was not going to ask. I'm not going to beg. No, but I'm, I just would have wanted to understand. Like, I don't get it. Was I done. don't get it. It was done. I'm really not that type of bitch. Like the minute you do that i'm like okay wow so wait did you get paid for what you were doing mm-hmm. oh, okay i got paid like you did you get paid each story or like no. how do they pay you they pay you based on quota quote or like how many people like watch it or something no, no how many you stories to, you watch how many right. certain you have a certain number of stories to hit mm-hmm. every two weeks and then once you do that then you submit a uh, um invoice and then they pay you for it oh you make your own purse <laughs> one more time you make your own purse like no, you, they provide like they tell you what they're gonna pay you, but you have to create the invoice to show that you've hit the quota. So oh. every story, every post, you put that in the invoice, and then that's how you get paid. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, I don't have any ill feelings towards them. It was a great opportunity while it was a thing, and I did a phenomenal job. My content was so good. It yes, was. it was. Um, thanks. It just it is what it is, and you know it's time for something better. Shit, I didn't, I was not writing articles anyway outside of grad school. So like for me to do that at the pace that I was doing it, I learned a skill. I worked for the shade room. Yeah, it's on your resume. Yeah, my platform got you know some visibility, and you know like I I'm gonna make it regardless. Like the shade room is just like an add on. A but, comma. Yeah. So it is what it is. Wow, that's fucked up. Hey. The reasoning is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. It, it didn't really make sense, and it still doesn't fully make sense, and I guess that's why I'm not harping on it, because I'll give myself a headache. This is my thing. Everything we do in this life is just a comma after our name. So if they want to do this shit, that's okay. I still have it on my resume. I've moved around. I've learned from this experience. I've gained from this experience, and that's all it, that's all it takes. You know you're good. You were good enough for them, so you can be good enough for the next step. Yeah. yeah. I believe that, you know, and I felt the need, like, at first I was like, mm, should I not say anything? But the reason why I am saying things is because you guys, like, keep sending me shit. 
<laughs> and I really appreciate you sending me content and stuff. It's not going up there. Wait, they sending you to do something? No, like everyone that like oh. follows me and stuff. They're like, Eric, this, this. And I really, really appreciate it. Stop. Did you respond and say, <laughs> don't send me no, nothing else? I didn't know how. I don't send me shit else. But like, <laughs> they're helping me and I don't want to go into like, oh, I got let go because then everyone's going to ask why. And then I'm just repeating and repeating and repeating. And I'm just already like, red, then. I'm not that person. I Delete it. <laughs> As soon as they send it, just delete it, I guess. Yeah. I just like it and move on. Mm-hmm. So, um, aside from that, I've been really bitchy. I think it has been because of the shade room, but, like, at work, mm, you cannot get anything out of me. You cannot get <laughs> shit all? out of me. No. Like, it's just my face looks unpleasant. And I'm just like, I don't want to be here either. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, like, really looking to God at this moment because I'm just like, what is going on? Like, you done took all the niggas out of my life. You mm-hmm. took the job I thought was kind of going to push me to fame. And then, like, it's just a really weird moment in life. So I'm trying to go with it and not stress it, but nothing makes sense right now. Mm-hmm. So that's been my week. I hope that wasn't dark. No, it wasn't <laughs> I wasn't hope dark. that wasn't dark. <laughs> it wasn't dark. It was honest. And, uh, oh. fuck Timby. Oh my god! Who was that? <laughs> yeah. Your fucking braids falling out anyway. Stop! Who's Timmy? Fuck that shit. One of the editors. They're managing editor. Fuck that bitch. Oh my so god! Woman? Yeah. I'll never get another job. <laughs> yes, I will. Don't um, come for Eric. You come for that. That's family. Nah, we're good. We're Fuck good. Angie and her crooked ass wig. Oh my god! Who's Angie? The, the creator. Old <laughs> it's Who fine. else? Oh, fuck that old Mexican girl with the glasses, too. Oh, my God. All right. Is it time for Bitch You Better Read? It I'm is. late enough. They think, they, think, they think we don't know who they are. <laughs> oh, my God. I know who these bitches are, and I know they got fake accounts, and I know they be trolling and shit. Stop. So, fuck all that. Oh, my God. If you goodness. hear me, fuck out of here, because you probably don't follow me because you see me on there. So, if you hear this shit, fuck out of here. Oh, my Bitch. I fucking I went to New York. And I went to... How was that for you? It was good. I wanted to go to your home in Brooklyn, but I I don't fucking go. live in Brooklyn. <laughs> I never have. Go. It was... I... It, Chris, cover your ears. The niggas. Mm-hmm. And they like my beard. <laughs> I've n- People don't approach me out here in Los Angeles, but in New York, mm-hmm. I had to fight them off. Real forward. I was real here for it. I, if I was not working mm-hmm. and about to be like a hoe, mm-hmm. I would not came back. Weren't you only there for 24 hours? No, I was supposed to be there for 24 hours. I did not come back till yesterday afternoon. How long were you there? I left Tuesday. You left California on Tuesday. Yes. And then you came back yesterday. Yesterday. Wow. Thank God I don't know how to pack. Because uh, I packed? overpacked? Yeah. I literally, this is the first time I ever packed and used every outfit that I packed. Mm hmm. That's lit. Was the flight paid for? Yeah. God is so good. God is really, really good. That's what like, I'm super grateful. Because uh, I, um, well, I'll get into that one. Have you been later. yet, Chris? To New York? Mm-hmm. I went once. I went to Brooklyn. When did what season? Uh, for Thanksgiving, this was like in the fall. what was this? This was like 2013, maybe or 12. One of them. It was probably 13. Okay. I want to go back though, cause have you ever been to Chicken Cone? No, but I've heard of it. Yeah, he was supposed to go and didn't go, and was there for five days. I Where was is not it supposed to go to Chicken. I just know it was in the someone York. requested me to go to Chicken Cone, and I was like, oh, okay. That sounds good. And didn't even attempt to go. Talking how would I take this back? Seven. How am I going to take this food back? He wants what, me to go to Chicken Cone. What the fuck do you mean how? Put you it want, in the box. You want me to go to Chicken Cone <laughs> on a Tell motherfucking... Tell them it's to go. When, w- listen. He wanted you to go on a Friday. Go, on a Friday. Go on your last fucking day. I don't get it. What's, no, I, I would have got it in the morning. And it would have been cold all day. And then we had to be on the plane where it's cold. No, and now I smell like chicken. Well, you're bad. So Why now, would you smell like chicken? So because I'm bag. walking around with a chicken cone. No, the overhead luggage would have smelled like chicken. Yeah, not you. The nigga got the chicken in the overhead. No. Well, that is a little oppressive and uh, racially confirming. But, no. You know, I, as a fat bitch myself, you know, I've definitely asked people to ship me White Castle. So I just can't be a hypocrite right now. Hopefully I go to Chicago so I can get some Garrett's. Garrett's? Yeah. Popcorn? Yes. You can get that at LAX, I feel like. Yeah, Popcorn? You can't get that at LAX. It's a Chicago thing. I know it's in Chicago, but it's at other airports. I know, but you can't get it at no LAX. It's like the Chicago airport. I'm not big on mm-hmm. popcorn. Just like they got the KFC in the Kentucky airport? Yeah. 
that's the only place I got a KFC in the airport. You don't know that. You've been to every airport? Yes, I've traveled. Anyway, we can start bitching better. He did know Fort Wayne had an airport. Yeah, Fort Wayne International Airport. And it probably has nothing in it but two airlines. <laughs> Y'all are trying this international. But Spirit and JetBlue. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm ready for Bitch You Better Read. Calvin, it is now time for Bitch You Better Read. What's my favorite word? At this point, I really could have just improv that. I could have just played too short my damn self. Um, <laughs> number one. What's my favorite word? Marvel Studio announces Black Panther to release date. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Yeah, I know we we're. Do. I know we're still Wakanda forever, right? Well, hopefully y'all can hang on a little longer because the sequel to Black Panther doesn't drop until 2022. But there's good news to go with that today. Well, not today, but at Disney's conference D2, D23 Expo, a ton of announcements from Marvel Studios were made, including that Ryan Coogler will return to direct Black Panther 2. I mean, if we're going to wait, I know with Coogler at the helm, it'll be done right. The official release date for the Black Panther sequel is May 6, 2022. That will be an excellent send-off for graduation season and the summer. Coogler's return was highly anticipated, especially after there were some rumors that he wouldn't return. But last year, there were reports that he quietly inked a deal to write and direct the new film. Coogler was to start writing the script this year, and production is projected to kick off in the same year, but at the very latest in 2020. Um, back when those reports were circulating, Marvel nor Disney have made an official confirmation statement, so the tea turned out to be Lipton. Coogler is a busy man these days. He has also signed on to executive produce the Space Jam sequel, which is set to star the one and only LeBron James. He is also developing a drama, Wrong Answer, alongside Black Panther star Michael B. Jordan. Here's to hoping most, if not all, of the cast come back for the sequel. There are also reports that Kendrick Lamar expressed interest in playing a villain in the new film. He did provide the soundtrack for the first one, so I'm sure he'll get some consideration. I don't care to see Black Panther 2. I don't know if I do neither. What What is there to not to care about? I saw Black Panther I feel one. like we should because of like having like a continued... like. Um... It was great for the culture. And I applaud it for that reason. I'm not saying we as a collective don't need Black Panther 2. I'm saying me personally as myself, an individual, I, I don't need I it. will go see Black Panther 2 just because I need to go see Black Panther 2. I would support it. But, but if there was never another like one, I would not care. But I'm not a movie watcher. So like my opinion is different from most. Like, well, it's, it's for the culture. Well, and, it's not for the culture, but it's going to be another one of those movies that's for the culture. Absolutely. And it'll be another... Bo- I don't think it'll have the same impact. But it will be another box office breaking film. And I think it will. It's a sequel. I just don't see it. Yeah. Why wouldn't? Well, why wouldn't? Hold it on, be? Can I shout out everybody in the chat box real quick? Thank you all for listening. Shout out to everybody in the chat box. Go for it. Who's in there? Kyrie's in there. Ray's in there. Q's in there. Jackie's in there. What's up, guys? Yeah, I was on the plane. Not a Greyhound. And JetBlue is. JetBlue is great. It's the shit. I rolled JetBlue there. Yeah, JetBlue My butt great. was hurt. The whole sea stuff. They give you free snacks and drinks. Yeah. American Airlines, I'm only flying them from now on. They are so good to you. They have Delta, I love them. They you know how they usually get like little pretzels and their drink? They have dinner boxes. Really? That Mm -hmm. you choose from. What's in their dinner box? They had a a fruit and cheese one. They had a hummus and a carrot six one. They had a chicken wrap one. I must say none of that sounds like a dinner box. (laughs) It was well like snack boxes. But like I had the cheese and fruit one. Uh-huh. Nigga, it was real cheese and real fruit. Yeah, when I flew American, when I went to London, they gave you like a chicken and steak option. Yeah, like, that they don't sense. play no fucking it's game. It's a long ass flight. But that snack box was a motherfucking snack. Then they came back around and gave you little biscuits and stuff. I said, this is amazing. I see what I pay for it. I don't know fucking fruit and cheese. Oh, Eric, you would have loved this. It had Gouda, it had cheddar, it had mozzarella. Anybody who offers me a fucking cheese box. <laughs> It's, not, it's no. like having a cheese plate at a fancy restaurant. Yeah, I don't do that. Or a, a tray pass, as those fancy people say. Yes, we'll have our tray pass service in just a moment. We're so different. Um, so, Chris, you're in favor of this film. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know too much. I don't know about the different Marvel stories, but yeah, I would love to see it. Chadwick Boseman is one of my favorite actors. Mm-hmm. I would love to see a Black Panther too. Okay. I, just I don't didn't know, I don't know where how. the story is gonna go. Like I don't know because I don't I don't follow the comics, so I don't mm-hmm. know where it is supposed to happen. But 
Yeah, I'm, I'll be in there opening night. Okay. Yeah. I guess I need to read the magazines. I'm not magazines? Going to. No, Comments. I'd rather just Comments. wait. I'm just going to watch it. Yeah. Now they're asking you too much of me. Number two. Number two. Woman says she went into debt trying to impress her friends on Instagram. Oh, child, you are telling so many people stories. Not mine, but <laughs> a lot. Mm. An Australian woman says she went into thousands of dollars in debt for trying to impress her friends on Instagram. Why? If they're your friends, they know you ain't got that shit. People use that word so loosely. The BBC reports Fiona Melville spent over $10,000 for a six-week vacation to Disneyland so she could impress her friends on Instagram. However, Melville knew she was not able to afford the vacation to California, so she used her credit cards to fund the trip. Why did she have to go for... Sorry for the dead air. I guess that her stupidity... Um, the 27 year old explained her situation on Australia's new show, A Current Affair. She says, my brother said, I am going to Disneyland. And I said, you're not going without me. So I got a loan. White people. I think the trip all up costs about 8,000 all on credit. She also stated on the show that she currently has 777 followers on Instagram and wanted to impress them with the perfect shot. You can take those 10, 20 shots to take the perfect one, post on social media, then wait for your friends to see it. Then you get all those comments on all of them being jealous. It makes me feel good that I can do that. Period, Paul. I want uh, to read her. For her 777 Seven. followers, she, she spent $8,000. I'm thinking she has like 100,000 followers, a million. She has, she has a high school. She has a high school of followers. Maybe in a small town. She's an idiot. Why did she just go for one day and take the pictures and spread them out? She is dumb. Where'd she go? Disneyland, Disneyland here. World Land. I don't know which no, one. No, it's there. land. It's land. It's land. Oh, she's an idiot. She's an idiot. What's 8, the most frivolous thing y'all? Spend no, hold on, hold on. Eight thousand. What costs eight thousand dollars? I don't know. Where's her mom? I guess like has? the tri- the Where, flight. Where's she from? Did it say Australia? Yeah. So like oh. the flight and then the hotel rooms and then the packages. If she went like got the fancy because she's trying to impress these seven hundred seventy seven followers. So she probably got like these expensive packages and stuff. She's so fucking. What's dumb. the most frivolous thing y'all spent something on? Food. Food. Mm. I accidentally bought a. Some shoes that was a little bit more expensive than I thought it was gonna be, and I, I accidentally bought a watch this weekend, guys. How do you accidentally buy a watch? On StockX, hitting the wrong button. Hey. I press bid instead of just look. And you didn't cancel it. Well, once you press bid, your bid's locked in. Mm. Cause I got a like automatic bid, and I underbid. And How'd I you make a mistake if you actually press bid? Cause I didn't mean to bid on it. I just wanted to see what the prices was going for. But you press bid. Yeah. That made sense. Is it a cute watch? Yeah. You don't even wear watches. I know, but I guess I am now. <laughs> this bitch water resistant. I'm wearing this shit every day. Yeah. It's a supreme watch. You may as well shower with it. Shower, no, swim. It's not waterproof. It's water resistant. That means only like a few sprinkles can get on it. It's a Timex. I don't know what Timex The logistics behind the well, I don't know how Timex works, but I hear it's a good brand. I do, too. I've heard good things. Can you turn my mic up? I don't hear me. You don't hear you? It may be your headphones. It could be. Oh, yeah. It's definitely the headphones. Because I turned down the headphones. Um, I'm going to rock my headphones like Chris. I low-key felt like I was miming. I was just like, eh, maybe the listeners hear me. <laughs> um, Yeah, you're a dumbass. What's your name? So I can address you properly in your dumbassness. <laughs> Deborah. Um, Fiona. Fiona, Fiona, you dumbass, Shrek-ass bitch. Look. Fiona? <laughs> Fiona Melville. Oh, wow. I just don't You sure understand. she black? No, I never said she was We black. never said it. Oh, you said it. Australian. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Fiona, girl, look, Instagram's algorithm is fucked up, first of all. So half of your 777 followers didn't see nah, none of what you none posted. None of it. 777 followers. And you are now <laughs> approximately eight to $10,000 in debt because you took a six-week vacation to Disneyland to flex on a social media platform with less than a thousand followers that has a fucked up algorithm. I don't understand flexing on the gram. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Well, that, you know, that can be, well, people, that, every, everybody, everybody flexes. flexes. On the gram. It's just the, the magnitude of the flex. I mean, we see flexes where people are popping shit that we know they ain't got. You ever been to a bitch's house where they talking about racks on racks on racks, mm-hmm. but they ain't even got Time Warner? Or they, yeah, or like, they at the club in somebody else's section holding their bottles. Right, right. And the bottle's like half empty. Half or empty. And it's Taylor Port. Like, you know, okay, I just. I do, I do that just for pictures. 
Now, you I don't know? go to somebody else's section. Oh. Like, I'm, like, I'm in the section I'm supposed to be in. Some and I'll say, just, like, and I'll say, like, take my picture. Some so people will listen. wait till you leave. Because, you know, like, c- celebrities, like, where people that buy sections come and go, and they, like, may, like, leave early to go somewhere else. So some people wait till you leave your section and take over your section real quick and take the pictures and drink the leftover bottle. That's bottom. so ghetto. That just reminds me of Blow. So. So fucking ghetto. So ghetto. Um, yeah, you know. That is Chris. I, I just really want to encourage everyone, especially the listeners of this show, to live in your truth. There is no need to go broke over stupidity, especially like this. I agree. This is crazy. All of your credit cards. All of them. Not even for something that's profitable. You went to Disneyland and you're 27. You ain't even got no kids. What are you doing, Fiona? Well, no, maybe, maybe she got money. Like maybe she got. She mo- does not. She does not have money. money. She's in debt from going to Disney World for eight days. Her words. I am right, in debt is. trying to impress my right, friends. Right, right. You're right. I forgot. Let's remember the roots of this story. What are the comments saying? Uh, that there's a showcase on September 14th that everybody <laughs> should be there. <laughs> So make sure you're at there. Uh, me and Chris won't be there because we'll be at the Lights On Tour with her. Me and Chris, we met her, and she said, come on. So we're on, we'll post it on our Instagrams. <laughs> but I promise you, that showcase no. will not put you in $8,000 worth of debt. It won't <laughs> you should come. Uh, no, uh, they said, what's up, Kyrie? You're talking about American Airlines. It's terrible habit of leaving your luggage behind. That's why I had a carry-on that time. That's it. I've never had a carry-on before in my life. And the one time I did a carry-on only, mm-hmm. it's as long as I've been somewhere. Imagine what had like a underflight one. I would have been there for twenty hours. I live for a good carry on, unless I'm flying Spirit. I had to give Chris's carry on bag back. Actually, I seen them at the club last night. They said, "Can we go to dinner?" I said, "For what? Who? Who are you talking?" Oh, I didn't about? talk about that on the air, did I? Nope. This is my first time reading about it. Oh shit! Well, colored here. I don't even remember what their nickname was. Who? I called him Broke Boy, I think. Is this the one who stayed with you for Thanksgiving? No. We talked about that. I heard. It was the, not, the one before then that tried to move into my life and moved the bag in. He had a bag on my house. The, like, one, the one that Chris uh, wanted the bag. The one yes. who allegedly worked for BET. Yeah. So Chris finally gave him back his bag. Okay. <laughs> Did and you tell him like I had it? No, I didn't. Oh, tell him you could have. Oh, no, I didn't say that. But like then like he started <laughs> texting me again, like trying to like... What did he say? I sent it to Chris. The streets miss you. Like, his friends on the streets told him that he missed you. Yeah, like the yes, streets. Yes, I remember him last I week. said, what the fuck? No, bitch. Server says, ain't wrong. But then he texts me like, um, can we go to dinner? After I seen him last night. I was like, why? On who? O- on them, because I ain't paying for that shit. That's and it's like, well, what we... I said, what we have to talk about just to talk and catch up? For what? About what? Are you reading the verbatim messages? Because I don't think you are. No, I'm... I'm Coming over here doing work. Right. Because yeah, I, um, I know, I don't think that was his response. I don't. Well, Kelvin is a little more gracious, but I don't know. When when someone is trying to, like, no. deplete your bank account. Read the messages then. We're not going. Read the messages. We're not going. Read the messages. We're not going. I know going. that wasn't your response. We're not going. Uh, they're talking about, um, okay. Uh, Ray bought, no. Charlie bought a hoverboard in undergrad. Did y'all have a hoverboard? Yeah, I wanted one, but once I saw everybody kept falling from one, I was yeah, like, Yeah, I was nah. like, no, nah, I'm off My little that. brother has one. I'm good. Uh, Ray says food. She went to Hell's Kitchen and lost her mind. Uh, she said, I should have lost my wallet beforehand, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, too. Uh, Voss Water. That mess is $4 a bottle. All right. $4 a glass bottle. That's mm-hmm. frivolous. That is. That is for, on a bottle of water? I mean. That's very frivolous. I understand, but. To where there's, there's 69 cent bottles of water? That, no, that that's a rare sometimes. find. I'm just saying that is for a bottle of water. That well, no, no I, I mean, can't I, talk. I don't support people who buy big ass bottles of water. Essentia is worth the four dollars. I don't believe that either. Have you ever had it? Mm-hmm. It's it's good as fuck to me. I don't like water. What we can tell, <laughs> bitch. No, you cannot. <laughs> no, you can't. I check my skin to make sure people can't tell I don't like water. You don't drink water? I do. I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? It doesn't complement anything. It's good for the body, but it doesn't go with anything. Water goes with everything. Yeah. No, it does not. Have you ever had water and fried chicken? Yeah, I have. It tell me it was good. It was bomb. I mean, I didn't drink. I didn't eat the chicken and like, oh my god, let me wash it down with some water. Like, yes, I, I did. So, I did. That's, that's, a, oh not, the, that's not the so thought I had. That's water. just what I had to drink with it. That's what you had to drink with. Yeah, it, it didn't like make the taste bad. Do you always have to have a drink with your food? Yes, I that's no. how you get cotton mouth. I don't. Have you ever had a Popeye's biscuit dry? Yes. And it didn't almost kill you? No. 
What? I don't know why people say Popeye's biscuits are so Cause dry because they're not. They're, they're, they're very so buttery. good. Are you <laughs> fucking buttery. Thank you, Chris. Something we finally agree on. I, I know never people, understood why people always try to come for a Popeye's yeah. biscuit. Popeye's biscuit. I don't know is what like dry ass a county. circular brick bitch. I don't, I don't know what Brooklyn me? ass <laughs> biscuits you eat in. <laughs> dry ass biscuits with that. Popeye's I'm not biscuits are always good. Do you know how buttery they are? No, because they're not. They're fucking dry. Wow. My friend Ronan fucking eats biscuits dry as some kink shit. Like. Because it chokes him. Like, I need y'all oh goodness, to understand face. how dry Popeye's biscuits are. Church's chicken not. biscuits are different. Popeye's biscuits Have are you had a red lobster dry. biscuit? Dry yes. Sauce? They're just, they're no, buttery they're as not. that. They're no, just as they buttery. Are not. How dare you say red lobster and Popeye's biscuits are the same? The only difference, Taste, between, not. Only difference between Popeye's uh, biscuits and the texture of a biscuit from uh, motherfucking um, red, lobster? red lobster is that one has garlic and cheese on it. I can't believe y'all are sitting here. I dry can't believe niggas all. be saying like it's it's dry. It's, it's not so, so dry. dry. Oh, so, no, it's not. I don't get it. Dry Eat the fucking biscuit. Fresh out the shower. Now, Eat K- the fucking KFC? biscuit. KFC has very dry biscuits. Now, KFC, KFC biscuit, biscuit is dry, biscuit. but I, I love biscuits. Dry biscuit. I love dry biscuits. I just love bread. Matter of fact, I want a biscuit right now. Yeah, yeah. hold on, wait. If, Kyrie, if you bring can, a box of bix- biscuits. If you can <sighs> eat bread, like, can you eat bread? I don't eat bread by itself. I don't get why niggas say that shit dry. It's not. I don't Dry. You know what? This has nothing to do with my bitch. You better read. Number three. <laughs> Number three. I think it's the first time I did it all day. Yeah, I know. I was just going. <laughs> I was like, fuck it. Wow. The Murphy disrespect. the number back. The disrespect. It was you who I started it. I thought he'd been it. doing it. No, because he didn't that do the, the first, first one. I, did, so I was just I like, okay. I heard, I heard did number it. two. No, I didn't no, do number you two. You did do number two. I, I like did. a little run in it. Oh, I did. You did? Uh, I don't remember hearing that. No, my bad. I don't think he did number one, though. Number no, one! Without a doubt. Well, anyway. Two, three! <laughs> Popular toy company Hasbro now owns Death Row Records. Cha-cha! Get your Death Row Shug Knife action figure. Lord, I feel the memes brewing now. Hasbro, you know, the same company responsible for Mr. Potato Head and My Little Pony, now apparently owns Death Row Records. Hasbro announced this week that it had... It purchased Entertainment One, which is a multimedia company that owns quite a few things, including children's franchises Peppa Pig and PJ Masks. Entertainment One also has a music division, E1, which Rolling Stone says happens to be one of the biggest independent labels in the industry. In 2013, the music division spent around $280 million to buy the catalog of Death Row, which had previously been forced to declare bankruptcy in 2006. So now, all of those beloved hits by Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Tupac are owned by Hasbro, sharing a, ho- <laughs> sharing a new home with games like Monopoly and toys like the Power Rangers. There wasn't any word on what Hasbro has planned to do with one, but it's a conquest that they are celebrating. The acquisition of E1 adds beloved, story-led global family brands that deliver strong operating returns to Hasbro's portfolio. Hold on, what the fuck? Take two. The acquisition of E1 adds beloved story-led global family brands that deliver strong operating returns to Hasbro's portfolio and provides a pipeline of new brand creation driven by family-oriented storytelling, said Hasbro CEO Brian Goldner. He's definitely white because this had nothing. That made no sense. I don't know what y'all want to see going forward, but the cross-branding opportunities are real. We don't want to give them too many ideas, but just keep in mind, Hasbro also owns G.I. Joe and Transformers. I mean, they could bring back the Hasbro family game night and make it lit, and they would want to act on it in the next couple of years as there are $130 million in cost synergies, available to both companies by 2022. The whole deal is actually valued at $4 billion, according to Deadline. The combination will also blend E1 preschool brands like Peppa Pig with Hasbro TV and film expertise, which has taken a leap over the past decade through franchises such as Transformers. Here comes the Tupac action figures. That's what they wanted. That's how they wanted with Tupac stuff. I mean, honestly, nothing in this world makes sense. Tupac so, yeah, branding. why can't Hasbro own Death Row Records? But how come people have been, like, bashing it? Like, what's the... Just cause, Have like, people been bashing it? People have been saying... I don't know. Like, people have been acting like it's... Wrong that he's old, that he owes owns Death Row Records now. I mean, because he's white. I don't. I mean, you can never please anyone in today's day. Well, I think it's so much like Death Row is like a gangster label, and now it's owned by a toy company. So they're probably like, first of all, what's the correlation? Oh, niggas still signed to Death Row? No. no. <laughs> so what does he own? <laughs> I'm just saying, like the history he, of the it. Own, yeah, he owns like the music in it is now like a Hasbro thing. 
Oh, so like nigga, like Tupac's music, Dr. Dre. Oh, he music. finna get paid then. Yeah, nigga, still yeah. Okay. It's just like yeah, it's like buying a catalog. Okay. If I hear Gin and Juice now, that's Hasbro. Mm. Yeah, they can. Oh my goodness, uh, think about the Gin and Juice toy line. Imagine if you pulled the My Little Pony instead of the theme song, it plays Gin and Juice. No, yeah. imagine like still like an Easy Bake oven. They give you like Easy Bake bar. And then, like, they give you, like, little gins and little juices and little vodkas, and they can teach the kids how they go. Speaking of, like, gin juice, have y'all ever had pimp juice before? No. Uh, I've like heard Nelly's, of no. Nelly's pimp. Y'all know, he used to say I that. remember that. Yeah, that shit, yeah, it just made me think about it. It was very good. It was? It was green, I think. Nelly, what happened to pimp juice? I had it in middle school. Right. Is it, was, that, was that what, wrap chips? Well, rap snacks? That was later. Uh, I don't rem- yeah, I don't remember. Rap snacks is way later than pimp juice. I just know it was out in middle school, and I used to get it every day after school. Wow. And did you sing the song while you're drinking it? No, but I used to act like it made me a pimp after drinking it. So you had a, a limp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's <laughs> problematic. Um, no, oh, f- I wish I was there for that. Number four. Number four. Teacher placed on leave after telling students he would be the best school shooter. Guess where this happened? Florida. Man. A Florida high school teacher. I didn't have to to look at it. (laughs) A Florida high school teacher is currently on administrative leave after telling his students. Why the nigga on leave and not fired? Go ahead. Let's see. A Florida high school teacher is currently on administrative leave after telling his students that he would be the best school shooter. CNN reports the shocking comment occurred during a lockdown drill at Lakeland Senior High School on August 16th. One student told Polk County Police that the teacher. Polk County! So podunk. Polk County police that the teacher told his students that he would plant explosives, then fire a couple of rounds and wait for everyone to hide, then press a button and boom, everyone would die. Another student stated that the teacher also said he would put a bomb in the corner and put nails in it for sharp. Sharp now. Okay. Sharp now. What is that? It's like the stuff like in guns, like the metal and stuff. So like you like go out with like the little bullets, the little pellets. pellets. Wow, he's thought about this. Detective Justin Conister filed a risk protection order against the teacher and said he was a former Marine before his job as an ed- educator. Being a former mar- Marine, he should be looked at as the person who will protect the students right. and not make them question whether their teacher is looking to harm them. The teacher's home was searched by Polk County police, but no weapons have been found. The Polk County School District said in a statement that the teacher has been placed on administrative leave. Superintendent Jacqueline M. Bird said the district is cooperating with police during the investigation. Every day, Polk County Pu- Public Schools is entrusted with the lives of more than 105,000 precious students. As superintendent, I will do everything I can to protect every single one of them, Bird said. Parents and students should be assured that we take any potential threat against our students and schools seriously. Student safety is and always will be paramount within our school district. The teacher is due in court on August 30th for a final risk protection order. Period. Um, what the fuck is wrong with people? What the fuck is wrong with white people? Yeah, like, sorry for the dead air. Like these stories are really throwing me for a loop today. I felt like I just was looking at headlines last night and was just like, oh, this sounds good. This sounds good. This sounds good. But like to see, like to read the story in totality. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> like. We it's, got just, a, it's just white people. We got a bitch from Australia named Fiona who is now 10000 in debt for going to Disneyland with less than 1,000 followers. We have a <laughs> teacher who is just playing unsolved mysteries with his students. Um, Fire him. I just... <clears throat> you know, I just, my little pony is about to have Snoop Doggy Dog braids. I just... <laughs> what's happening in the world? Do you think it's coming to an end? Yeah, look, the rainforest is on fire. The oceans are drying up. Stuff is boiling. There's a lot of global warming. We are in our last days. Yeah, you know, I really think we should all just go, you know, find everyone that we're attracted to, have massive amounts of sex. Protect it, of course. And just get real Why ignorant. even protect it? You're going to die anyway. Okay, let's not add to the problem. Because um, Kelvin is the problem. A little <laughs> burn never hurt nobody. <laughs> oh, my God. If that's, your, if that's your motto. A little scratch and sniff never hurt nobody. If the world was ended today, like what would minus the sex, okay. the unprotected sex that Kevin would have, <laughs> what raw, what like what would y'all go do? Would if the world is ending in like two hours, like let's just say we got a notification, hey, the world's about to blow up in two hours. Damn, two hours. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go and start swinging on people first. Now, I'm not angry by any means, but but wait, 
that's a very exhausting. Like thirty seconds of a fight is exhausting. Yeah, I know, but like because I know that there's no real repercussion, I'm gonna be a real wild child. For t- you only have two hours. I don't have any. Like right now, it's not like a paid time, so it's not like I can just blow funds. So that's not an option. I have to work from where I'm at. I would rob a bank and blow funds. You have, you two, have two hours, and I would eat like steak and all the other stuff. Okay, now I- I'm gonna put a time restraint on it. Give me, give me each time, like how long it would take to do this and that. <sighs> I'm eating steak and chicken. I'm getting no, actually, I'm getting the four for four from Wendy's. Yes, so that's okay. I've take never five had minutes. a four for four. Really? I never had one. <laughs> All right, that'll take five minutes. Okay, You're missing and out. then I am going to um um. Now, if you say rob a bank, that's a whole hour and fifty five minutes. No, it does not take an hour and fifty five minutes to rob a bank. Knowing you, that would take an hour. No, and how minutes. am I going to get away from the cops then? No, you got two hours. You about to die? I mean, you're not gonna, I mean, not die. You're not gonna go to jail. I don't think. Where are you spending this money that you're stealing for I'm two hours? What's the point? I don't get it. Like, and then by the time you flex and post on the gram, like, I don't think anyone will have time to like it because it'll be everyone's demise. Like, right? <sighs> yeah, yeah. What would you do in these two hours? Honestly, I should just go stick up a bunch of fast food establishments and just eat. <laughs> Like I don't like I don't want to get drunk towards the end. Like I should just. I'll, I'll be high. Smoke massive amounts of weed. I would and probably smoke. Just get a bunch of food. You should at that point. Chris should take more shots. Like, mm-hmm. why? What, what is the hold up? What is the hangover? Oh, yeah. like, I can have an edible because it takes like an hour or like 45 minutes to kick in. You'd so I have like an hour. you just be eating a cosmic brownie. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't even feel the effect. Yeah. The time frame is just too short. Chris, what would you do? I would hit somebody in the bike lane. Because I feel like <laughs> bike lanes. <laughs> Because bike lanes are so pointless. You thought this through. No, because bike lane. I fucking hate bike lanes. So I would hit somebody who's riding the in the bike lane. Are Actually, no. Are I wouldn't hit nobody in the bike lane. I would hit somebody who's just riding in the street. Okay. Because yeah, That's I would hit somebody on the birds because they ride those in the streets. <laughs> um, Ooh, watch out for Chris's car. <laughs> if the world's in there. It um, is a Honda Civic. Yep. Yep. Mm, newer what model. Else, what else would I do? Two doors. Uh, I think I would try to go to ho- to the Hollywood sign. Would you just drive up? I want to hike it. You don't have time. I do have time. I have two hours. You don't have time. You're going to be on the run after you hit the people. You don't have time. I have two hours. Chris, it took us two hours to get up Culver City steps. Well, that's because I was about to die. This (laughs) this time I'm going to make sure I'm hydrated and stuff like that. I'll be good. It's going to take. That's probably going to take me like 30, 45 minutes. It's not going to take you 45 minutes to do. That is a long walk. Chris, it takes me about 30 minutes to do (laughs) running. I'll get as high as I can. Okay. Um. Oh, what else would I do? I think I would just hit so many people on, on bikes because I'm really concerned how... now, Chris. I really think you should just kill me. You don't on... remember that one time where I was about to hit that one nigga? Oh, I do remember. Yeah, like I I hate that. That really gets on my nerves. I feel like you should focus your time on running from the cops after you hit all these people. I mean, I had two hours. Like by the time they, ca- I'll just keep going then. By the time they catch me, the world gonna be over. You may as well just drive up to the Hollywood sign because you're gonna be on the run. <laughs> <laughs> I, as far as I can think of, that's that's what I think. That's what I'll do. So I think it goes without saying that all of us would absolutely waste our last two hours on Earth. Because um, yeah. <laughs> that's what I got from yeah. this conversation. It ain't like I could go fly somewhere so I won't die. Yeah. So. so yeah. Um, number five. Number five. Now this one is sad. High school sweethearts killed in a car crash just minutes after getting married. Damn. Oh. Newlywed couple Harley Joe Morgan, 19, and Rhiannon uh, Morgan... 20 were killed on Friday in a crash just moments after they tied the knot at a courtroom in Orange County, Texas. According to the Daily Mail, the couple who knew each other since the eighth grade were pulling out of the driveway of a courtroom in Orange County where they tied the knot when the accident occurred. Harley was pulling out their 2004 Chevrolet when they collided with a Ford pickup truck on Highway 87. The groom's mother, LaShawna Morgan, and sister Christina Fontenet were driving behind the couple and witnessed the the horrific crash. The devastated mom told Katie FM, they just got it married. They hadn't even been married for five minutes. While fighting back tears, LaShawna added, those two babies, the only thing that they wanted to do was get married and start their lives. The two of them had so many dreams. I watched my baby die. I'm still wearing my son's blood because I was trying my best to rip him and her out of the car. I witnessed my own worst nightmare. That's an image that will forever haunt me for the rest of my life. I won't forget it. Justice of the Peace, Joy Du Bois, Simonton, who officiated the couple ceremony, later went to the crash scene to pronounce the couple dead, according to KFDM. Damn. That is fucking wild. Wow. 
on a human level. On like a supernatural, like godly level, I think it's cool. I think it's okay. I feel like God has plans for everyone, and when they die, they have fulfilled those plans. So like God was probably like, all right, this is all I need from you two. You yeah. just need to die together. Like you need to have this moment of marriage and love to wrap it up. But shoop. And I think like on a higher level, it's like beautiful in a way. But on a real world level, it's like damn. To go from officiating the wedding, like I now pronounce you husband and wife, to say I now pronounce you dead is crazy. How they die? A car collided. Well, a pickup truck collided into them as they were coming out of the the um, place that they got married. So the, the motherfucker driving couldn't have been paying attention. He must have been getting hit while he was driving or something. I don't know. He was a pickup truck driver, and apparently he had a lot of cars on his truck. And that uh, obviously the pickup truck is unscathed, but that car must have went through it. I feel bad for the mom. To witness your That's children sad. die after witnessing them get married. That is sad. Like, that is so traumatic, and she's going to have nightmares for, like, probably the rest of her life. For the rest of her life, yeah. That is so fucking cruel. I low-key didn't want to put this story in there, but it was so, it was such a weird, horrific coincidence that I didn't want to, like, skip it. Mm -hmm. But, like, what the fuck? But I think that, like, and everyone's probably looking at me like, bitch, if you don't get back to life. But, like, spiritually, I think this is kind of beautiful. What? Just because? Just because they died together. Like, I feel like that was their last thing that was needed on Earth. I don't want to die with my wife. I mean, isn't it till death do you part? No, I'm saying I don't want to die with her. Like, I don't want to be there when she like, I don't want to die, too. Like, I don't want to. Well, I mean, they both didn't know they died. I know, but I just I don't know if I could, like, plan my own death. Like, I wouldn't want one to be like that. At least there were no kids in the picture. At yeah. least there were no kids in the picture. I hate that the mom had to see it. Mm-hmm. That how is how the... would y'all plan your death if y'all had the option? I just want to make sure that when I die. My best friends understand that I need a memoriam in the form of a block party. If that is not carried out, I'm haunting every bitch that I called a friend. The, not, not the funeral. I'm talking about the actual death. Oh, mm, I don't care. You okay? How you done? You no. can get murdered if you want? I mean, like, I, if, if you had to plan it. Like, if you was like, all right, I want to die like this. I just prefer it's instant. Like, like in I don't sleep? have time to... I don't have time to be, like, on a deathbed. Like, having all the emotions. Like... When it's my time, let's be clear and concise. Take me out. I'm not trying to no. be feeling the effects of this lingering death. You know? Because, like, who wants to be just waiting? Yeah, to die. And conscious that it's their last day. Nope, take me out. Like, today's the 18th anniversary of Aaliyah's passing. Yeah. And her passing was immediate. <laughs> Left eye's immediate. Like, it's just... Nobody wants to sit there. Well, I don't want to sit there and be in pain. But, you know, what is... I look at death and I don't really fear the idea of it because I look at it like God takes you when he has nothing else in his plan for you. Like, he's like, you've just done what you need to do on earth. And that's why I don't really fear death because it's just like, I know at that point, God's like, all right, it's time. Mm-hmm. I think that a lot of people fear it because it's the unknown, but I think that that's kind of exciting. Um, I just feel bad for everyone that feels it on earth. Mm-hmm. But all I care about is my fucking block party. If I don't get that block party, it's over for these bitches. It's over. <laughs> and you want it in your hometown of Queens? Absolutely. Well, I just need New York to feel it. New York, ha- it's going to be such a good event. Such a good event. How would you plan your death? I, I want it in my sleep. I was about to say that. If in my sleep. I don't, I don't want to feel me die. I don't want to feel it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to feel my heart stop. That's the biggest fear. Like, how does that feel? But do you like, does it hurt? hurt? Like, does it hurt? Like, I don't. Yeah, how does death I don't, feel? I don't want to... But the minute you... You don't feel death. You die. I'm saying, like, if I got shot, I'm sure that would hurt. Like, if somebody just continuously shot me and I was and, alive like, and then I dead. died. Yeah. Like, I don't want to feel that. Like, I, if I fell yeah. out of a plane, I don't want to feel that. Because that's going to hurt as soon as I land. Oh, no. You're probably going to have a heart attack before the impact touches. I just... I don't know. I just don't want to feel nothing of my death. Like, I want to go to sleep and I just don't want to go. You like, just I, want instant death. I just don't want to feel it. I want to say goodbye to everybody. Like, I won't find the words. We're asking how do you, like, how you're going to die. Yeah, I'm saying, but, like, if when all that stuff, I won't find the words. You won't know that, though. I'm saying, like, however I die, whether, like, if I get hit by a car or whatever, I at least want to say find the words. So you, okay, so you don't want it to be, like, an instant thing. Yeah, I want to say my final words, then I'd be, like, in the movie. 
Mm-hmm. This is real soul food. Yeah. Just keep the family together. I'm okay. That death was so sad. That death was sad. Mm-hmm. We, we knew it was coming because she hit. You see all that butter she put in them? I mean, yeah, we knew it was coming, but. <sighs> Get off What? No, we didn't know it was coming in the beginning of the movie. No, when she was banking and bouncing, we didn't know that. But when but when I seen her in the kitchen cooking, I said, "This is why she got diabetes." You know, Hell, this is why the whole family got diabetes. Are you ready uh, with the sound effect? Because that was all for bitch. You better. No, <laughs> I, we're not done yet because soul food is problematic. Oh my God. Soul food is so problematic. That is what I love about this show. We can talk about shit like death and just go because it's like it's such a. My biggest fear in life is losing my mom. That would rip me to shreds. But in terms of my own life, like as long as I hit all the things I feel like I'm supposed to hit and like affect the change I need to, I could go whenever God is ready. Because it's like I feel like after it is, I don't know. Hmm. Like you just got to take it for what it is. Like it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Yeah. But I'm not ready to go yet. Oh no, I haven't done half of this shit I have planned. I want to go when I'm like seventy and above. I'm, I just want to be a grandparent first. I know I'm going at 109, but I just think like deaths like Bonica, and like they just recently found one of my uh, like college middle school choir members that we used to like hang out with. They just found him dead. Like he went missing like in January though, but they just found his body. What happened? We don't know. Like, but he went in like to drugs and he did like porn. And he just had a rough ass life up in Chicago. And then he moved back to Fort Wayne, and then like he went missing in January. So my dad. My stepdad, who my dad, and his dad are, like, close friends. So, like, just seeing this whole thing, like, unfold, like, from him going missing and, like, we're trying to find him and then do investigation stuff. I I kind of felt like this was, was, was what happened back in January because, like, you just don't go missing. And, like, there's just a lot going on. That's wild. Yeah. We don't know what happened yet, but there has been some, like, organ harvesting up there in Indiana. They've been finding bodies, like, without organs. Mm. This so world is sick. It's really interesting. That was all for bitch. You better read. Oh, my bad. What's my favorite word? And now it is time for the topic. And can you turn the bedroom music back on? Here I go. I don't know why you turned off at the bitch you better read. Because I had to turn it off. So like this can play and won't be combating, but I can play it back for you. And you see, I was trying to be nice and play the right one and I'm everything. I'm glad you did. Thank you. Wow. And I just had a request to just turn it back because you always turn it off after bitch you better read. That is true. There was a point where we used to let it run through the whole show. Because I don't want to let it run. Dynamics. Anyway, um, a situation didn't happen for me to have this topic, but. Uh, the, the topic is what's something? <laughs> fucking bitch! I'm like, what? what? Anyway, what is something that will turn you off from staying the night at somebody's house? Roaches, dirty ass house. What? What's dirty though? Like, I'm what not staying in your bed if the sheets look dirty. Stain, like what? Um, if your bathroom is disgusting, if you're well, now hold on. Now, what if they just they didn't clean up yet? I don't invite That's people different. over without like, cleaning. You could uh, like. Like, if I see a bug or I see lots of food out, then I'm not staying. Why? Because if I see lots of like, food okay, out. Okay, hold on. So, if the day's going well, you know, whatever. Hey, let's go back home. My place. Whatever. They didn't know you were coming. Like, they didn't they didn't get to clean up yet. So, what's... Or they didn't get to change their sheets yet. Now, what if they change the seats when you got there? I'm okay with that. Um. Okay, like, let me... Because I'm not, like, a huge... I don't harp on a bunch of things but like a dirty bathroom is kind of concerning because what well, they had a ring around the tub how crazy is the ring around the tub it's noticeable it's very brown <laughs> it's a ring around the tub i don't know now what if they had like a filthy ass house and they were like i just didn't know you were coming like i'm about to clean out That's like weekend i mean but it's like do you typically live in is it knows the difference between like it's like it's junky, and a difference between like filth. Right. It's it's dirty. Like the house is dirty. What is dirty? Because some people dirty subjective. Like yeah. there's it's like clothes everywhere, clothes everywhere, everywhere. But then there's like filth. Where it's just like you don't trash. Clean this is trash. There's All of that. It, they didn't get a chance to do that yet. 
No, because there's a difference between I didn't get a chance to clean this and I'm living in this. Right. They like did not. They, they planned on doing it, but, oh, I have a date. I'll do it when I get home. Because there are some things that look like you just have not tended to it in a long time. Yeah. Like, if your bathroom looks an absolute fucking mess, that's not being junky. That's you living in filth. Like, what happens if you go over and they were getting ready for the date and the clothes and stuff is everywhere? That's different. That's different. I understand. Because I throw things everywhere. Yeah, and I understand my shoes not getting off the to rack. laundry and stuff like that. Like, that's fine. But, like, you're not going to see, like, plates of unfinished food on the floor. You're not going to see. So that's filth. That's filth. That you're not going to see. What else? Hmm. Did this happen to you when you went over her house? Whose house? I was just trying to put you on blast for something. I don't know. No, no, this situation never happened to me before. If you have a pissy toilet seat, that's not junky. That's filth. Um, what about hair in the sink? That's different. That's filth. I think it's dirty, but I think it could have been like one of those I'm I'm grooming for tonight type of things. Like that I could see being she a tell, very last tell minute Brian thing. Tell Brian to wash his hair out the sink. Huh? <laughs> what? One, one of the big... He said tell Brian to wash his wash his hair out the sink. Yeah. One of my biggest pet peeves <laughs> is like going over to my house and they have like flat irons everywhere, grease, fucking edge control, whatever the fuck they use. Like all of that shit just like, no, put the shit away. Like then you got the flat iron still plugged in. But that's it's last, hot combs that's everywhere. last minute maintenance. But why can't you just put it away? Because if they're running late. No, but it's some women who women just do. keep it there. Like it's some women who just leave it there. Do they? I've been over old girl's house and they just left it there. Consistently, though? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know many girls like that. Because, I mean, I lived with girls all throughout college, and they weren't like that. So I guess it's just person to person. But I do, like, I'm I, I'm trying to put it in frame with what could have, like, what could you have been doing before the date? I've shaved before dates. So I understand. Like, and you I, don't clean it up? I do. But I under, But me doing it makes me understand that someone else could have done it, but not have cleaned it up. I think, like, there's a noticeable difference when someone is living in filth and they are just junky at the moment. Like, when someone is living in filth, it's low-key cringeworthy. Mm-hmm. Depending on, like, what what's filth. Like, to me, like, the, uh, what are they called? Um, I just, I just talked about it. The hair shit. Like, all that shit, I think that's very filthy. I prefer Bro, she's natural hair. Then she wouldn't have all that out, right? She would. Yeah. Probably but more natural so. women don't like put heat to their hair and all that, do yes, they? Yes, they do. Natural hair takes natural hair takes heat. I thought they just it's just natural. Natural hair is no. It's, it's <laughs> no. not just get the fuck no, up no, and go. No. That's what I thought it was. No. Yeah, that's a lie. No, no. what is natural hair? That. Natural, natural hair you means natural products. You can put heat to your hair, but you won't get a perm. Natural hair says nothing that's altered to your I hair. I literally thought you just get up, brush or comb, whatever you do, and that's it. No, no. Chris, it goes a lot. A lot goes into natural hair. Oh. If that's the case, we would be natural. Yeah. And it's like even we put shit in our hair to moist, moisturize it. Oh. Okay. I just, I just didn't know. <laughs> I'm, happy we, just I'm, happy like you, just out. I'm happy we told you because you go into your wife's bathroom like she told me she was natural, but now she has all this stuff. <laughs> this bitch is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the whole the wedding was a sham, right? Like. And this is like what is the straight what is the straight iron for? <laughs> she's, she's a fucking liar. But uh, for me, like that. yeah, that w- that would be it. If you have a dog who just is out of control, I cannot wait to get my dog next week. You're getting a dog? Yes. I'm never coming over y'all's house again. I'm yes, you out. are. I'm, I'm allergic to dogs. No, you're, you're not. You're coming over. I'm allergic to pets. Hyperallergenic. And I'm moving no, out. No, that's not real. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'm gonna get a hairless one. Why would you do that? A dog? A hairless dog? So you can come over. Don't do it for me. Don't. Well, the dog is kind of already fucked up if it's hairless, but like, <laughs> poor baby. Get out, wait. Oh, I cannot wait. I, I love wait. dogs so much. Oh, my goodness. It's just they're so bad for me. I cannot wait. You don't like pets? I cannot stand that one animal. What? I, I hate, hate animals. animals. They're so, so cute. Old. I hate animals. My sister just got a dog. I hate them. <gasps> what type of dog does she have? I don't know. Chris, what makes you happy? <laughs> what makes you happy? Sleep. <laughs> my bed. <laughs> That's it. You just need a pet to connect with. No, no. I don't like dog. I don't like any animal. Like, there's not one animal I was like, I want an animal. I feel like you just need one that's going to be, like, one One just has to pop up on you and show you their affectionate ways, and you're going to be like, damn. This shit well, is my cute. sister's dog, I, oh, I can't stand him. Why? Every time He done seen me, like, 12 times now. Every time I come down, he always bark at me. 
That's yeah, different. because he, he feels your energy. Yeah. He feels I, that I negative walk, shit. I walk in, I just look at him, and he just starts barking. he feels that negative energy. Well, Dogs can um, read energies. You can have one of your own, and it, it would just be completely different. Like, they're so cute. I want one so bad, and I cannot wait to have one. I hope Chris accepts it as it is. I want uh, a pug. Ray says that I want a pug, too, and I want to name him Baldwin. That's cute. I love that. Um... Ray says, natural hair is gel, shea butter, creams, water accessories. It's probably a ton See, that's more what products I thought, water ladies without natural hair. I thought it just use water and go. No. That would leave your hair dry as shit. <laughs> that's what I thought. It's dry as shit. And Ray said, honestly, Chris, like, what brings you joy? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> That brings me joy. Literally yeah. every way back Wednesday quiz when Chris comments, I'm just like angry black man. Because <laughs> your followers off. piss me the fuck off. That is Chris it. is the get off my yard. That's Chris. <laughs> Eric's followers Very are pissing nice. me off every Wednesday. Oh that wow, that's funny as shit. Um, <laughs> what else are they saying? Well, that's it right now. Okay. Kevin, what, what, also, make sure you go to the showcase September 14th. Yeah, I'm excited. It's like pew, pew, pew. All the deets <laughs> are on the Good News Radio Station um, Instagram, on the app. We have it on our Instagram. Make sure you go. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? You didn't. I don't think you answered. <laughs> what would make you not spend the night? I don't, what, why lie to the people? <laughs> what would make me not spend the night is that um, if you're missing a leg. You ain't tell me. I'm sorry. Oh, wrong, if his wrong leg thing. is decapitated, like if he's par- if he's missing a leg. Yeah, you ain't tell me. I mean, no, handicapped? not decapitated. It's amputated, right? Amputated. amputated. Yeah, yeah, amputated. So yeah, if you ain't tell me you're missing a leg, you're that's, not that's staying the night. If a man has a prosthetic and leg didn't tell me and didn't tell you he's an amputee. Yeah. The fuck? I think that's very shallow and fucked up of you. That's <sighs> fuck. That's fucked up of them. We that's get not things, something you just. We t- get things going. The next thing, and they're like, oh. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? I think that's very fucked up. <laughs> yeah, baby, I just want. Why ooh, are yeah. we there? Why is this? Yeah, the baby, shit I that- can't wait to. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put your, show, your legs right here. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that will be your reaction. Yes, Chris. He you, should tell you, Chris. Chris no, 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 Chris. He should tell you, Chris. No, 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 Chris. 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 You and this girl, y'all been, y'all been kicking it. Y'all been having a cool ass time. She's like, yeah, my, yeah, Chris, take me back to the house. Oh, yeah, baby. You know, I'm about to do some shit to you. Yeah. In your mind, you're like, I'm about to get this bitch back shots. I'm about to fuck this bitch up. You get there, she's <laughs> like, Yeah, let me just take off my pants. Like, nah, I got you, baby. Let me put them down. Just put your pants to the side. You know, little. <laughs> I mean, like, you pull her pants to the side, her leg fall off. <laughs> fuck you gonna do? You wouldn't scream? Oh, what I'm gonna st- <laughs> scream in them back shots. I'm gonna still be giving her back shots. <laughs> I'm not about to let the back shots go to waste. If you did not know, though. Like you literally Hot, had Okay, no hold on. So so clue. is she in the position already before I found out? Yes. You, say, yeah, yeah. You didn't even know because it's like one of them good and it just them fell good off. ones. And just, yeah. You, now my first reaction My off. first reaction is gonna be like, oh my god, I just broke her leg. <laughs> like that's that's my first reaction. My first reaction is like, oh shit, I just broke her fucking leg. But like once once I stop, then I'm gonna be like, oh shit, your leg is amputated. <laughs> Then I think I wouldn't even have time to process it. How do you even continue after that? Like you fucking the leg. I thought off. I thought I just broke like, her how leg. How did you get back in a rhythm? Like I how thought do you I even broke think, her leg. Like, that's oh, that's fuck. really gonna There's be my first thought. No blood. My first thought is gonna be like, oh my god, I really just broke her. Like, that, that's my first thought. <laughs> that's my first thought. You are fucking with Barbie ass bitches if you think <laughs> you are just breaking their legs and no blood, no nothing. No. That's, that's gonna be my first thought. That's gonna be my exact I first quit. thought. <laughs> I quit. Someone get Chris a, a, a book on the anatomy, the human anatomy, <laughs> immediately to let him know. Especially this. if I'm like in it, like I'm not even like my, I'm just focused and I'm just like, oh shit. I can see Kelvin taking the leg from the boy and start imagining Crip walking with it. <laughs> I probably would. I probably would laugh. Oh Something so God. serious. After initial shock, I'm like, wait, time out. What if they still live with their parents? Like you didn't find out until like you heard, hey, Jimmy, like, you know, like, you heard. Oh yeah, that's that. inappropriate. Well, I, I think it's I, awkward. I, I, but yeah, it's not really awkward. I would let you. It. I want you to let me know. Like, hey, we have my mom's crib. No, yeah. they, like the way you find out, they be like, hey, hey, guys, or you know, if they just walk in. 
Mm. If they walk in during sex? No, no, no. Like, let's just say y'all at the house, and, uh-huh. but y'all don't know that the mom that they live with their parents. Oh. They come home like, hey. Well, uh, sometimes ho- parents' homes look like parents' homes. Yeah. I don't. Mm. No, I'm saying like you would like. Let's say y'all went straight oh, to the basement know. or something, yeah, yeah, or straight to the true. room or this whatever. This is true. No, I'm not gonna fault. I'm not gonna fault you oh, for yeah. um living with your parents. Like, if you don't tell me you live with your parents, it's not gonna be like a, a deal breaker for me. You know, to be like, oh no, what the fuck? I'm leaving. Like, I was fucking couch surfing not too long ago so like for me i'm okay like i'm okay i don't care if you like sleep on an air mattress i, I don't i do what not if they say something very you don't care about that no i'm not spending that over no chick house if she live in a fucking air mattress but it's just absolutely like, not if you really like a person it's kind of like no absolutely not an air mattress it's have not- you slept on an air mattress Chris, I just told you I was couch surfing. Have you, but have you slept on a deflated air mattress before? Most of them deflate when you wake up. Nigga, imagine two people sleeping on one. It's okay. This chick I used to mess with in uh, undergrad. Like when I experienced that one time, mm-hmm. I couldn't fuck with her no more. It's not my preferred method of sleeping, but I understand that that's where some people are in life. And if I really fuck with you, then I kind of got to take you no, as you are. I you literally at. woke up next to her closet. Like that's that's how <laughs> deflated the fucking bed was. <laughs> and I couldn't know. Absolutely not. I don't know. Like it's- if I walk in, I see an air mattress. Fuck no. I can't spend a night. Um, and then if you I got it all decked point, out too, like I think at it, this point, it just really depends nobody got like how much I like decked you. out. Sorry, hold I on. I used to have nobody an has an air tra- mattress that's no, decked out. I I had an air mattress once. Uh, my what year? I can't remember what year this was, but um, and this one made me like never do this shit again. It had a headboard. It had like armrest on it. It had a lot of shit on it. You had an air mattress with armrest. It had a headboard. And everything. It was a futon. No, a it was a legit air, air mattress. mattress. It was an air mattress. A, how do you have a headboard on an air mattress? You blow it up, and the shit was there. I'm fascinated. And it was queen size, I think. Who, who is right? Look, Cal- mm. you can Google it. No, uh, there are such things as like full size, queen size air mattresses. I just don't think that that's a big enough deal to be a deal breaker. Nah, that is for me. I'm not saying you need to have a California king or. Or like a queen. I ain't saying you need all that, but you need a bed. What if it's their studio apartment and they're just they have an air mattress? I'm leaving. An air mattress? They've been no. there for like all of three weeks. When, okay, if they only been there for three weeks, I w- when are you getting a bed? Oh, I just don't even need one. But excuse most, me, mo- I'm leaving. Most people don't even have their own name on a lease. Most people don't. And you're pressed about an air mattress, but I they sure have am. their own apartment. When are you getting a bed? If, if her answer is not odd oh, shit, yeah, I'm getting one tomorrow. Or if it's not soon, I, I'm out. If the if if it's not, I'm just not really pressed to get one. I just have an air mattress right now. Oh, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. That is not good for the back. <laughs> that is not good. An for air the mattress back. isn't good for your it's back. It's not. But I mean, <sighs> it's not good for your life. You're waking up <laughs> on the floor every day. I'm not. The I one time I no, absolutely not. That that did it for me. The one time I slept on an air mattress with with another person. Calvin, is that okay with you? At this point in my life, no, because that's one step away from where I've been taking people in. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's different. It's if they your just space. moved into this new life and got an air mattress. And they tell you they are not pressed to get a bed right now. Uh, no, because I would think what are priorities. Exactly. Because like I feel like. That's like that's like a high priority for me. Like just to know where I'm laying my head. You can get a cheap ass bed for two hundred dollars. Yeah, Having my a, bed yeah. was two hundred dollars. It just feels. I feel like it was more stability. Like if I have a bed, that means I'm. I feel like I'm, I have a place. Mm-hmm. So like if you don't have a bed and you say you're not planning on getting a bed, what we what we what we, what we, what we doing on this bed? Because I weigh I weigh three hundred pounds myself. So how are we gonna like what is minus three hundred pounds? Right. What is going on? Like how are we gonna make this work? What happened? Things get a little hot and heavy. So we gotta do it on the floor. I mean, we can have it'll be real um, humble beginning sex, but like, nope, couldn't do it. There are I just so many other it. things going on in the world. That's very important. Like that is very important. Mm. Also, I don't I even want to open bathroom. the conversation for this next one. So fuck it, go ahead. No, say it. What? Could you keep a relationship with someone sleeping out of their car? No. Really? <laughs> no. Sleeping out of your car? Yeah. What if I want to come over? <laughs> well, I guess you cannot come over. <laughs> no. You can sit in the passenger seat. Where, where does she sleep? How long in are they? The sh- car. Why are they? Okay. I have to look at. Does all the she have any family? Like, what's, you know, I'm, why as I go car? back, I'm sorry. This is why. This is why I am how I am. I'm gonna have to look at all the circumstances. Why are you? Well, in your Calvin, car? I see why you have taken that on because you are the first 
dick providing homeless shelter I've ever met. Well, I don't even be giving out dick like that. But no, I honestly just, I feel so sympathetic and it was like, I remember when I first moved here and somebody was nice enough to let me live with them and that's just like, I feel bad. But I feel like now, have I paid my dues? You have paid To let people dues. stay with me because because Chris like in his family opened their home to me Chris has taken his you know bags from your suitors and um, <laughs> this is true. I think you paid your dues okay, well, mm-hmm. if you're living in your car and you cute you can't even shower gotta, if you cute and you live in your car and you gotta go go ahead I think it's like upward, mo- upward mobility like if you com- if you're content with living in the car then no That's but if you're definitely. in the car and you like I gotta get every day I see you grinding to get out the car <laughs> grinding to get out the car. If I see you grinding to do what you need to do to get a place, then I'm cool with it. I can see if she was living in an RV, like something that has electricity, has a shower, like has that type of shit. All right, but you're living out of your your Honda Civic. No, I feel like you haven't seen hard times. I've seen hard. I've seen people living in cars before. I feel like you have not seen hard times. Yeah, I've been to hard times. I've been broke. I've been when I first moved out here. I didn't have a bed. I slept in my, on my mom's futon, a stained futon that hurt my back every morning. Have you ever ventured to another state by yourself? Mm-hmm. Not no, college. Oh, you mean like like I live there? Yes. Oh, no. It shows. Not, so, I'm judging. I'm judging. Not why are you judging? Not necessarily I have preferences. Negatively. It's fine. I'm just saying, like, I think because my perspective is different. I'm trying to understand how your perspective can form, and that's why I was asking the questions that I was asking. Like, for me... Because I stayed in my car at a point and because I did so much like house hopping, I get it. So it's like for me, those aren't those aren't deal breakers because I understand like I still had ambition. I still had all the jobs that I had and still did red carpets and was just homeless as fuck. So like I understand that a person can be like so driven, but just not have the means. And that's why it doesn't turn me off. But but, you you, you had a plan. You had a plan to get out the car. But you see, if, I, if this person is content living in their car, oh, I'm good. That's two different parts of the conversation. I feel like that that and that's probably that something was, we could add to the, the question. No, it was just like if they are living out of their car. I didn't give like I need to know any character traits or anything know, like that. Well, but, I need to know how long she in this car. <laughs> I need to know how long she been there. Yeah, I need I need a I need to hear a pl- I need to hear so much about why you're living in a car. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. It's not, it doesn't make you a bad person. I just wanted to understand why your decisions were your decision. Yeah. Also, if she had like a uh, another thing that's it just it just bothers me. Like if I go into her bathroom and like I see the toothpaste literally like a squeeze left, it's like replace maybe she this. gotta go. To, maybe she's been busy, can't go to the grocery. So store. how you been brushing your teeth? You know you, when it gets very all that thin, shit out. but when it gets very thin, it's it barely comes out. Yeah, you would have to like cut it with a scissor and just yeah. Stick like if you it. if you ain't getting no toothpaste out of here, your breath must stink. <laughs> Does it? It got to. You know her, though. Does it? <laughs> if that was our first time going out and I'm back at the crib, like, I wouldn't know. That was the first time I was hanging out. Uh-huh. Then if you got a thin-ass piece of bar of soap. Wait. I know you ain't got, I know you not clean, clearly. Because <laughs> where's the rest of the soap? Yo, listeners. Chris I'm is just fucking saying. impossible. I'm just saying. That, that looks, dating that show nasty. that we were trying to do, I need all it y'all It looks to- nasty. Step your pussies up before y'all even <laughs> come. Because Have a full bar so. If not, y'all are gonna get chewed out like a fucking Popeye <laughs> sandwich, bitch. Like I just Have I, y'all tried it? No. It's very over the top. The idea of me waiting in any Popeyes to potentially get denied of a sandwich is gonna give me anxiety. Like it just I could go to any Popeyes, but I just feel like one, the lines are either gonna be really long or I'm gonna get turned away, and that makes me anxious. It's really not. It's so overhyped. Is Chick Fil A still better? Yes, absolutely. How to raise is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. I don't think Chick Fil A is better than Popeyes as an establishment, though. Chick Fil A is not better than Popeyes. As I don't. Chicken sandwiches menu are good. The waffle fries are great. Menu, menu for, for menu, menu, but Popeyes menu. spicy chicken, let alone, is better than anything that Chick Fil A could ever do in the it's, outside. It's not though. I feel like menu for menu, Chick Fil A can't compete with Popeyes. I feel like Chick Fil A just does sandwiches. No, they do nuggets, they do uh, wraps, they do salads, they do... I don't like wraps. I don't need a salad if I'm going in there for chicken. And I don't... Um, The nuggets are really small. They're good, though. Get a 12 count. Chicken tenders are bigger, and they're good. Chick-fil-A has chicken tenders. They do have chicken tenders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think... Mm, I can't even say that I think their fries are better. That's a toughie. What? Their waffle fries? Uh, perfectly salted waffle fries I think their waffle better. fries are great. I really like Popeye's fries. 
I'd much rather have Chick-fil-A any day of the week. I mean, I could go back and forth. You know, I don't really have to pick a side. I'm not that type of person. But um, Now, Highland Rays, that has the best chicken sandwich in the world. I've heard of them, but I haven't had the opportunity to go check it out for myself. They have the best. Absolutely. Uh, that was a good topic. That what was, made you yeah. come up with that? Because let me tell you, I, told, I couldn't think of there shit. There was nothing <laughs> last night. And I wrote the, I wrote Coven and Crystal, and I was uh, putting my stuff on the dock. And I'm like, this dock is looking real bare. <laughs> Because I was, I was, I was like before you text me. I was like, I really couldn't think of shit. And then um, I remember I saw my sister's dog, and I was like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like because he was getting on my nerves. And I was thinking like, I, if a chick had a dog, I don't think I could spend night. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, when guys have dogs, like when dog guys have pets in general, I typically, but I'm allergic to everything unless you have a turtle or a fish. <laughs> I can't stay at your house because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like have my nose running. That's unattractive. <laughs> And that was it for the topic. That was good, Calvin. Why do you work the board if you have to multitask? Well, sometimes it's- Here I, go. I think next week Chris should do the board. I just don't think he needs to run anymore. Yeah, it's no shade to you. I think you're doing a great job. He doesn't job, pay attention. It's just not your priority. And he doesn't pay attention. Yeah. yeah. It's not gonna work. Could you read the question of the day, Calvin? Is that possible? I can't. I'm just waiting for y'all to finish talking shit. I mean, I can were you going. gonna join in in us talking shit? No, I was just gonna listen. I was, gonna listen, <laughs> right. listen. I was just gonna listen and ignore y'all. But here it is. It's time for the question of the day. Question. 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 All right. So the question of the day: What's something your parents told you as a child that you found out was a lie as an adult? What is your mom and daddy lying to you about? Leaving the light on would give you a ticket in the car. Absolutely. I still believe that. It's not Nigga, true. You know how many police I rode past with, with my light on? I still believe that. And also maybe because I come from like hood families. Uh-huh. And they probably What hood families do you come from in Fort Wayne, Indiana? People sell drugs. Anyway. Some of my cousin's friends sell drugs. <laughs> anyway. But like they don't want the cops looking in your car and see what you're doing. Um, yeah, that what else have my parents lied to me about? Uh I don't uh, what y'all got? What have my parents lied to me about as a child that I found out wasn't true in my adulthood? Santa Claus. But it didn't take until my adulthood. Oh, I right. feel like I yeah, should have right. picked up that there was no Santa Claus because I literally saw my mom buy it. I saw my mom buy all the shit I asked for, and I still was acting stupid. When I found out, I, bu- I cried like a baby. Did you? Yeah, because they, they really, my mom used to really paint the facade of like, it was really a, a motherfucker coming down the chimney because we had a chimney at the time. Mm-hmm. It was a nigga I left cookies for who ate the fucking cookies. Who left a thank you note. Like, Aww. I was just like, I really thought it was a Santa Claus. That's so cute. My mom used to really, like, paint. Now, the the day I found out, like, I was walking downstairs. I saw her, like, uh, wrapping gifts. And mm-hmm. I was like, what are you doing? And she just stared at me. And I was like, wow, you're there's no Santa Claus? No, there's no Santa Claus. So. I mean, the Tooth Fairy, too. My mom didn't necessarily, like. I want to know how I didn't wake up when she came in and put the money under my bed. Well, I'm a heavy sleeper. Yeah, remember. I'm about to say I slept hard. What did she? I'm trying to think of like some actual ass lies, right? Like some serious. Um... Yeah, that's what I was trying to think too. I don't... My mom telling me she's broke. Uh, yeah, and she's that's not a lie. fucking broke. <laughs> that's a lie. But <laughs> actually, look, it, looking back, broke is perspective, and I could. If my mom was like making what I'm making, or like making a little bit more. I think she was I think, broke. Should we call our moms? Y'all want to? I could, uh, but I it's could. I wonder if she at the, the top of her head. Like I don't know what she would tell me. I wonder if it's, but she may be at church. My oh, you calling her? Huh? Yeah, I'm calling mom too. Oh, I'll call mom first. She may be at church. It is Sunday. And it's like three. If she picks up, so why did not answer for me neither? They in church together. I don't think my mom is gonna know because I don't. Know. Hi, mom. Put yes, mom. Can you hear me? Put on speaker. Can I tell her first? Hello, mom. Can you hear me? Hello, mom. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> can you put her on speaker, mom. I had this thing plugged up to my phone. I was listening to uh, to the car. Oh, you listen to what in the car? My phone. Oh, okay. Plug it up so we can hear it in the car. Oh, okay. Well, I want you to let you know that uh, you're also being heard on the radio. I'm doing a podcast right now. Hi, Miss Tawanda. Oh, okay. Hey, Tawanda. Miss Tawanda. Hi. How's everybody? Good. Yeah, how are you? Good. 
<laughs> so the question of the day, and uh, we're calling our mothers to see if they're going to tell the truth now, okay? So the question, okay. the question of the day is, what's something your parents told you as a kid that you found out later was a lie as an adult? Mama, what did you lie to me about? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good question. I, I, I can't think of that right off the top of my head. It's such a hev- it's such a, a deep question because Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy is so obvious. But it's like, what did you tell me back right. then that now I would understand? That's why I said my mom telling me she's broken. She's not. <laughs> Santa Claus and Easter Bunny. I always think about like when y'all kept telling Lexus that her dad was in college. <laughs> when was- dad was in college. Y'all said Tyrone was in college. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really I don't remember that, but I remember I that. Tell you that because I didn't want you to know the real deal, so I try to give you something to cold it up with. Yeah, mm, I see. A good yeah. mom. I said, oh, okay. It's like, okay. Ooh. Okay. So now that, now I said, you don't go to college that long. <laughs> what is he studying? <laughs> How many degrees he got? A doctor, a doctor, a professor, a He got something. So wait, what happened? Was he... I he's in guessing jail. he's in jail. He was in jail. Oh, yeah. yeah. But they told you with the college. Yeah. It's it's typically normally college <laughs> where he's on vacation. It's normally like one of those two who, things. Who came with that line? Mr. Wonder? I don't know who came with that line, but it was a good one. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I got <laughs> all of us. I love this. But that's all I wanted, Mom. I thought you was in church. All right. Okay, y'all have a blessed day. You all too, right. Mr. Love Wanda. you, Mom. I love you too. Bye. Eric, hey, you want to go? Sure, let's see if she picks up. My mom's up. crazy. I think she'll pick up. I just don't know off the top of her head if she's going to have something for me. Let's see. Y'all can keep the conversation going so it's not dead air. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kelvin, you keep the conversation going. Hi, well, Mama. I really just want to know these things. Like, I, oh. So I'm doing the podcast, and I have a question. Hold on. So we have, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Okay, so we have this thing called question of the day. And today's question of the day is, what's something that your parents told you as a kid that you found out was a lie as an adult? So, what is, um, so, what's something that you told me as a kid that's a lie? You know what? I was a good mama. I didn't I did want to say The only thing I could say is, um, well, it wasn't a lie. Eat your vegetables and make you stronger. Uh, let me see. That's a lie. Uh, <laughs> I, I really can't. You know what? I, I can't say. Could you, could you think of anything that you, I did say to him that was, you know, as a kid, that I to inspire him, but it was a lie. <laughs> uh, to be inspired? No, just no, in general. That, that, something to, that you told your kid. That you always say your kid that is a lie. What and I told... <laughs> what I said was, uh, um, you, you would tell me that you were broke, and I knew you weren't broke. Uh, You still do it. I did. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, I know. Because I'm like, she ain't broke. But okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that was. Yeah, that was good. I appreciate you for that. But I just wanted to call and get that from you. I'm going to let someone else call their mom now. I'll talk to you later. Okay, love you. Love you too. Bye. You know what I realized uh, recently? Broccoli is not nutritious. No vegetables. There's There's no real nutrition in broccoli. But I think that the greenage is good for your. It's just um, like water and stuff, and have like a little bit of fiber in it. But other than that, it's not. Mm. Just like corn. Corn. Why do we eat corn? Just to fill us up. There's no nutrition about. You shit out full pieces of corn. It doesn't digest. That's trash. Because you know, I was um when I came off my food poisoning, I was eating broccoli as a form of greenage, and you saying it's not doing that. Yeah. What are are you busy? Yeah. In the bathtub. Well, I had a so the question of the day. You're live on the uh, radio right now. The question of the day is, um, what's something? What is it? What, <laughs> what's something? What's something your parents told you as a? Me on the radio. 
<laughs> You're welcome, Chan. What up? What up, Chan? <laughs> Okay, go ahead. What's, what's, <laughs> some, what's something your parents told you as a kid that you found out was a lie as an adult? Hello? Reconnecting. Why didn't you just call? Um, yeah, let me just call. I don't know. I was just trying to be something. high tech. We're already on the radio. You're right. You're <laughs> they right. can't see us. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, this is a cute moment. It's not even Mother's Day. Uh, what's up? Jan, let me talk to Gaga. Okay. Oh, Jan, you're so cold. Calvin, do you have a charger? Yeah, you want it? Yeah, we ain't got much time, but everything counts. <laughs> well, we, are you, well, we're Hello? Hello? If you're staying Mom. around, stay around for Kyrie show. Yeah, but that's at one thirty. Mom. I know. It's on, I'm trying yeah. to give you a shout out. So man. the question oh, is, yeah. what's something that your parents lied to you about as a kid that you uh, found out was the truth as an adult? The truth, Barry, and Santa Claus. Well, yeah, that's that's basic stuff. Like other other things, like how she would say, like you know, if you leave a light on, if you're driving, you can get a ticket. Stuff like that, like actual so, lies. If you cross your eyes for too long, they gonna stay like that. Yeah, mm, <laughs> that is a good one. What is that? It. Uh, if you sit too close to the TV, you gonna turn blind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she, and are these lies that she told you? <laughs> yeah. Is mom <laughs> is mom telling you this? What else did she lie to us about? What else did she lie to us about? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I, th- I can't remember anything else. Mom? She's thinking. She's trying to remember. <laughs> what about, where did uh where did you tell me my dad was when he went away? Where'd you tell him his dad was when he went away? At work. At work? My dad went to jail. She said he went to work. <laughs> wow. Oh. And so what? Oh. Well, yeah, we we were we were calling our moms to see what, what we relied about, what we relied to about as kids. What else did she lie about? All right, guys. All right. All right. I feel like the concept, the concept of jail is too much for a kid. <laughs> so I understand I don't why they how do old that. I was. Like, at what age is? I don't even want to make a whole new question of the day. But like, I think if I had a child, and for some reason, God forbid, someone close to them was in jail, I don't expect them to fully get the like the the full grasp of it until they're like fifteen. Really. And, like, without me having to explain too much, like, I feel like at the age of 15, it would be more of, like, what did they do to get in jail as opposed to, like, what's jail? What's going on in there? How long are they there? Da, 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 da. Like, I don't want to have to go through that whole long spiel. I feel like by the time they're, like, 15-ish, it's more so, like, well, what did they do to get in jail? Mm. No, I mean, I mean, it, I feel like the age matters. It just depends on how, how would you say, 15? Yeah. Because mm. I'm not trying to go through, because then you have to go through the definition of what jail is and then, like coax them through it as opposed to like I mean you have to be gentle regardless but like yeah. I can take the training wheel semi off at 15 as opposed to like 9 mm-hmm. no I get what you mean so yeah that was a good question of the day I enjoyed that we were able to bring our moms into it <laughs> um, and it is time for if I told you that um, it is Today's If I Told You That is, you're in prison for a crime that you did not commit. You have two years left on your sentence when new evidence is found. This new evidence could clear your name, but if you go back to court, you may end up with an extra 10 years in, j- years in jail. The chances of your name getting cleared is 70%, which means you have a 30% chance of getting an extra 10 years in jail. Do you go back to court? Yeah. No. You would go back to court, Calvin? I want my name cleared. I have two years left. Because I work very hard for this name. <laughs> you can have everything else, but you can have my name. I, <laughs> I have two years left, and it's a possibility I can have 10 more, 12 mm-hmm. more. 10. But 10 on top of the two? Uh, yes. So, so 12. 12. Mm-hmm. Fuck no. I'm, <laughs> stay, uh, I'm staying in jail. <laughs> uh, what did I do? No, no, I ain't put that in there. See, I think I think that I think that would... If, if I know mm-hmm. I didn't do it, and I could possibly... 
Like, if I did it, no, I'm just going to stay. Let's do a rape case because that's something you would oh want to clear God. your name for. Because that's something I severe where I'm like, my name got to go. I did it or I didn't do huh? it. I did it or I didn't do you it. You didn't do it. And you have evidence. Oh, I think I will go. Yeah. I, think I, will, I think I will go to jail. But right? it was, there's still that 30% chance that you could be going back to jail. But I think if I know I didn't do it, mm-hmm. and I think this may be my last chance of like actually probably getting off, then... I think I could. Yeah, I think I, I think I would go. I think I would just do it just because that's such a heavy case. I think when people offer to sex, does my breath stink? Is that no, why I you t- did that? I can't smell your breath from here. We're not even in an angle where no, that I'm, works. I'm just saying. <laughs> Kevin, do you want to take that? I do because I got the munchies. Munchies? The yes. Fuck is it's a problem. It's a Tic Tac. I know, but again, how it helps me eat too. Because I don't eat. So you, Calvin, you don't need to do drugs. Yeah, I think you I don't do off. drugs. You do I do, do drugs. Edibles. Drugs. So Legal. You are going to go back to court and try and clear your name, Kelvin. Yes. Okay. And clear my name because I don't want. No, you're not. That's not how to be part of my bio. You know. Now, how would you try to clear your name? I'm going to get the best lawyers. I'm going to get. Um, our you already lawyers. had a good lawyer. I want OJ's lawyers. Aren't yeah. they the same, actually? Some of them. Some Cochran. of them. Well, Johnny, Johnny Cochran was. Johnny Cochran is like 10 years dead. Yeah, he was He was OJ's. Uh, who was John Travolta's character? I don't remember. Uh, yeah. Rob Cardet, Rob Cardet. No, that was uh, the other guy from Friends. Oh, I can't remember who played uh, John Travolta. Well, who John Travolta played? I don't remember either. Yeah, but um, that was all for if I told you that. We are getting through this. We only got nine minutes. It's good. Uniquely speaking. So uniquely speaking, this week is all about these motherfucking Popeye chicken sandwiches. Hmm. Every time I turn on the turn on, where that cable? Speaking of cable, MTV Music Awards come on Monday, tomorrow, and I'm so geeked. The VMAs come on tomorrow. He's answered the phone. I don't know what's going on, but I cannot wait because if y'all know me, y'all know I live for the VMAs. Like you know, the Grammys, VMAs. I don't even know I'm watching it tomorrow, so I need to figure out where I'm gonna watch it or what's going on. I'm gonna cry if I don't watch it live, so I need to figure that out. Mm-hmm. It airs at five, right? Yeah, so I need to figure that out ASAP. Like, ASAP, I need to figure it out. But, um, so if you're having a watch party and want me to come over, hey, invite me. I'll come over. I'll bring a snack. Mm-hmm. Um, but these chicken sandwiches, and everybody's talking about how this one's better than that one, how this one is, there's no competition. And it made me all think about perspective. These are all chicken sandwiches. Right. Pretty much chicken, bread, and a pickle. Right? Yeah, and sauce. And a little bit of sauce, little right? Bit. But everybody's arguing about the same thing, but it's just presented differently. Mm-hmm. So it made me think about just life in general. Like we all are grinding to do the same thing and are trying to make our lives better for the most part. Mm-hmm. But we have different ways of going about doing that. Mine's may be a little bit extra crispy with a little spice and kick to it. Yours may just be a little bit plain chain with just a little bit of breading on it. Mm. But we're all providing the same type of context and do things better. So when... You look at success and how it's measured. Some people may think that success comes from like money, cars, and like clothes, and just living this good life. But others may think it's actually doing what you love to do, being provide for your family and things of that nature. One may be a Popeyes, one may be a Chick Fil A, but we're still providing the same services, making things better for its America. Right. Guess who's getting money? Popeyes and Chick Fil A. So it made me just think about perspective. What you're doing in your life. Do not compare your chicken sandwich to somebody else's chicken sandwich because they may have a little bit extra more breading on it. Your chicken sandwich is still just as valuable and still just as good, and somebody's going to like it. Period, Paul. So that's what Uniquely Speaking is about. Who got the best chicken sandwich? You got the best chicken sandwich. Don't let these other niggas tell you different. I was debating that with Chris the other day. With me? <laughs> I'm just randomly talking. No. Um, I mean, <clears throat> I feel you, but then again, it's like, what if somebody who's trying to do the same thing as you is actually trash? That happens a lot, and that makes them a church's chicken sandwich. I just think it's about how confident you are in your recipe. Because look at Blueface. That's a trash chicken sandwich. Mm-hmm. But niggas is eating it a lot. Mm. So much that is, I think it's been the number one chicken sandwich at a point. And I don't get how. Metaphorically speaking. Yeah, I'm not understanding how. I, confidence really sells. Confidence in a machine behind you, but you cannot sell anything without confidence initially. I was telling a friend the other day, you know, my big one of my biggest pet peeves is talking to people and then they say, I don't have talent. Like, w- bitch, stop. 
Like, I refuse to believe that the universe, God, whoever you believe in, is, you know, um, one-sided enough to give some people talent, others nothing. It's just not how the world works. So this person, extremely talented, just was not confident enough to pursue what it is that they're passionate about. And I'm just like, look, time is going to pass you by and you're going to be like really, really sad in the future watching other people do what you could have done way better than them because mm-hmm. you didn't have the confidence to go for it. A lot of that starting point is how confident you are in the gifts that you possess. And if you're not sure enough in those gifts to foster them, they're going to slip. If you haven't heard it, use it or lose it. So, you know, to everyone out there that really just wants to do something, whether it's start a podcast, um, dance, sing, you know, like, I feel like at least give yourself the, the room to try and fail at it rather than just like writing it off immediately. Like even if you have an idea that you want to pitch to someone, don't shoot it down yourself. At least give them the opportunity to shoot it down because mm-hmm. people will kind of be like, nah, this is going to be a dub. The person may very well love it, but you being overcritical, you ain't going to let it see the light of day. Right. And I feel like a lot of people are their biggest, what's the word? Saboteur. Critic. Critic. Either one. You know, mm-hmm. like at least give your chance yourself a chance to do well. Definitely. Yeah. I agree. It really it really sucks. You only get one life to live and if you don't do it right, you are going to be sick when you are about to die. Mm-hmm. To your fucking stomach. Yeah. So that was really good uniquely speaking. And I like that you kept you kept it on trend with these damn chicken sandwiches, which I hope this conversation dies it's by over. next week. I really hope this conversation is dead by and me being Until the, the big Taco bitch Bell I gets am, a chicken sandwich. I'm not eating that. No, no one should eat that. Actually, that's a lie. That chicken taco. They have chicken. It's bomb. They, yeah, they sell got chicken. chicken. Yeah, they, they got sold, chicken. It was I used to get chicken taco. quesadillas. I used to get like the chicken. Oh, um, right. Nacho. Oh, right, right. And they had a taco that was a chicken shell. Yep, I remember KFC? That. No. Yeah, I mean, taco, taco Bell. I remember Taco Bell? The like, shell was, was like, made out of chicken. Yeah, it was like a chicken patty. That top. The next time it comes back, Chris. That sounds disgusting. What fucking, comes on it? It was the, one of the greatest things I've ever had in my life. What the fuck comes on that? I don't remember. Just try it. I guarantee you will wow. like that taco. I don't even like Taco Bell. All you eat is beef anyway. That taco was so well seasoned. I feel like don't yeah because I don't like lettuce, tomatoes. Like they put lettuce and tomatoes inside of it in this sauce, but the chicken itself is so good that it all just goes together perfectly. Taco Bell needs to keep that on the menu at all times. I don't understand what they're doing. They're well, McRibbing they it, bug. but they uh, need to stop. Bug. <laughs> they need to stop McRibbing it. I don't think any. I've never heard anybody say, "Y'all need to try that ta- that chicken taco from Taco Bell." Well, you've heard me say it, and I don't well, eat Taco Bell, so that reference really means something. Wow. Yeah, I was going to Taco Bell religiously just to have that taco, and then when they stopped, I stopped. How much was it? Not a lot. You got it by itself, or like, did it come with like a meal or what? I think they were doing like you get that taco, and then you get like two regular tacos. Oh, like one of them boxes. Yeah, it was probably like six something. Mm-hmm. It was a re- and you get a drink with it too. It was a very solid thing, and it's a very filling taco. Next time it comes back, do yourself a favor. I would not give them free promo if it didn't deserve it. All right. And on that note, where are we now? Good. It's always good to get in the studio with you guys and talk shit because it it gives me it reminds me constantly that I am on a journey, a journey, free, creative, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you know a lot of people really want to do what it is that we do, like. On the what the kit? That was <laughs> really counterproductive to my last few minutes of message. Um, Ain't that right, Chris? You can do it. You can't do it the same way, but you can. Ain't that right, um, Chris? Go ahead, Eric. Chris. You need to agree. <laughs> I just, I feel good. You know, I'm working my way back up. I'm really trying to appreciate the time that I'm in because this is the time that I'm in, and I really can't do much. Well, I can do my part, but. I can only do what the universe allows. That part. So trying to understand the time that I'm in and not beat myself up because of it. That whole part. Yeah. So I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm surviving. Um. Yeah, I don't really have like a, a motivational type message. I'm, I'm just good. I'm just living life and I'm good. Are you still having sex? I haven't had sex. How long? Some weeks. Maybe a month. Okay. Maybe. I'm just maybe trying. two. I mm. maybe. Yeah, maybe. This is August. Maybe a month or two. 
I'm just trying to make two sure at the most. You don't go back to where you've been. Well, we're at too much right now. <laughs> so <laughs> we could keep counting. Calvin. I haven't neither, which is really really sad. Calvin. I'm agreeing with Chris. I haven't neither, which is really really sad. Chris knows I'm at home. Know. Okay, y'all gonna keep throwing me off a hoe, and somebody gonna get this. I'm in a good spot. Um, I realize blessings come whenever they are. I watched the movie Little, and it really inspired me. Mm-hmm. Like, have you seen the movie Little? Who's that? With it? Issa Rae and no. Marge oh, and Regina. now it's online on the bootlegs. I can. It watch is. It. I watched it on the <laughs> plane. I watched it on the plane. It was. It was a good way to end the trip. Like I fell to have a good that. trip. I did it. I thought it was good. I watched it on my way to Miami and I fell asleep. I thought it was I fell asleep on the stars born, like in the first scene. I was like, Okay, let me just take my ass. The movie is really good. You need to I watch it. I'm gonna try thing. to watch it, but I, I fell asleep. I think after watching Little and being so inspired, I was like, Oh, and then I fell asleep. But anyways, <laughs> just make sure what you're doing, everything will matter. It may not seem like it, but everything you're doing counts for something. So it does. People they might not see it right now. And you may not see it right now, but it is working towards your greater goal as long as you are working towards your greater goal. That's where I'm at right now. Keep that in the head and keep reminding myself that. I love that. As always, guys, you can catch me on Instagram at The World According to Eric, Facebook and Twitter at Eric Devante, and Snapchat. I shouldn't even bother. <laughs> I have officially deleted Snapchat off my phone. I don't even use it. Oh, oh wow! Don't even use it. Um, and also need the story space. Uh, but you can follow me, <laughs> Kelvinology at Kelvinology on Instagram. That's K L V I N O L O G Y. And make sure you're following the Good News Radio Show because we are coming up on our 100th episode. Oh, do you don't want to miss it. And also, I'm making all these announcements for Chris ends. Um, September, oh, my wig! September 14th. Um, make sure you go. <laughs> Chris, don't look. Um, uh, you can catch me at CCCAW September underscore 14th. as all on Twitter <laughs> and okay. Instagram. And as always, guys, I'll no, be there, right? Hold on, wait. September, we got to talk about the September 14th. Okay, it's a showcase. showcase. Take us out as well. I hope you guys got right. That's right. Get right or get love. <laughs> Tell them about the showcase. The showcase, September 14th. I don't know the date. Guys, it's going to be great. All the shows are getting together to talk shit and have some fun all together. But as always, bitch, you better get right.